And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Elchester Sports Club. We have got a cracker of a game, which is the last round of the Premier League 2024 uh, games uh, all over uh, all over the uh, uh, Brisbane and the Gold Coast. We've got Lawn Bowls to you, major sponsors, and we thank them very much, along with BCIB, the Paradise Point Bowls Club, which is the bowl show host, and Club Musgrave, which is doing the finals weekend next weekend up there. We're looking forward to that. And Smith & Co, bowls show sponsor. Thank you, Smith & Co, for... Uh, uh, for coming in and, and sponsoring the Bold Show again. We thank them very much. Uh, what have we got here today? Well, we've got a cracker of a match, Algester versus Paradise Point. And around the grounds, gee whiz, we've got uh, some good games. Tweed playing Hallensvale, Algester, Paradise Point, Pine playing Broadbeach. They're the ones that are the main contention that have a bearing on on the final five. So it's very interesting. I'll, a little bit later on, I'll read the points out and... Uh, yeah, it depends on who wins who in the zoo that uh, is going to change a few points. Uh, and even, I think even Anogra have a slim chance of making the five as long as they win on all three rinks. But unfortunately, I think they've got to win by a margin of 59. And that's going to be a little bit of a... Uh, I think that's, uh, that's a huge ask because um, I think they're playing Capalabar and, uh, and that's, just a, that's just a very, very... Uh, big asked for them. But we've got a game here with Al Jester, Toddy Brain, Paul Gilbert, Matthew Baus, and Cohen Litfin. And they're up against from Paradise Point uh, Dazza, Darren Christie, Damon Wood, Glenn Clinkett, and Wilson Alexander. Teams are out there having their uh, chin wag to see what they uh, uh, want for dinner tonight. And once they've, ordered, uh, they've put the orders in, they'll come in and have a go for bowls. So I'm looking forward to uh, to this game here. I don't have Brian with me today. He's down the Gold Coast uh, doing the uh, Max Morris finals uh, these, uh, today. And then once the teams are all organised in some of the uh, divisions, uh, the finals tomorrow up at Hallensvale commencing, Robbie, 9 o'clock? 8.45. 8.45. Well, I might miss the first game tomorrow because I might Sunday I might still be in bed, but uh, but I might come down and uh, we'll have a uh, we'll have a look at the finals uh, of the Max Morris uh, local district comp down there on the Gold Coast. It's a very good uh, competition uh, from memory. Yes, it's um, uh, thirty thousand dollars worth of uh, total prize money to be distributed between winners and sectional winners running up to the in the uh, in the in the semis. And uh, yeah, it's it's quite a good, uh, quite a a good uh, array of prize money for that, and uh, and uh, and that's uh, that's by virtue of the district uh, who uh, who nominate charge the fees, and uh, we uh, we keep a couple of bob for uh, incidentals, i.e. trophies, and uh, and the balance uh, is given out virtually out of. 34 roughly that comes in, 32, we put 30 out in prize money. We just, you know, give it back to the district uh, uh, with uh, the players within our district uh, richly deserve. Uh, the other games on uh, on the adjoining ring, we've got Glenn Pitts up against Desi Kane, and then we've got Nick Gosley up against Kobe Barton down on rink 8, 9, 10. So we're, uh, we're all set, uh, raring to go. Uh, where are the boys? There they are, up the far end there. And there we are, Elgester Sports Club. Um, and all I can say is thank heavens for um, satellite navigation. Um, I would I, Actually, I've come up here once with Robbie before uh, in the truck, and had I have come that way, I would have been right. But I had to drop someone off at Proud's Plains on the way through, and oh, my goodness, trying to find it from Browns Plains and it's, the funny thing about it Browns Plains is virtually an adjoining suburb uh, but apparently they've got corners in their roads and they <laughs> I kept going around in circles uh, but never mind we made it here and uh, we set up and we've been set up for a good hour we've had a we had a good run um, getting a good signal at the moment and uh, 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 Dolphins out there still talking uh, can't desert they've probably probably gone on to the dessert menu trying to work out what they need uh, to all our uh, friends overseas, um, yeah, the umpire's there saying, ring the bell, ring the bell. It's gone one o'clock, and uh, he wants to get it up and running. 
And uh, uh, there's Smithy out there playing for uh, Algesta, one of the, the legends in Queensland. Great guy to boot too. And uh, I must let him know that my macadamia supply has gone right down and uh, I really need some more. Joshua Beattie, good afternoon. Bruce, uh, Robbie and... No, Brian's not here, Josh. He's down at... Um, he's down at... Uh, Helen's Vale, Rabina or Paradise Point. I don't know where he'd be, the Savo. Probably uh, he'd be over at Helen's Vale, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we're all uh, all set, raring to go here. Uh, where's the bell behind us here? Go and bump into it, Robbie. And <laughs> get them started. Uh, yep. Yeah, well, it's, uh, is this a, uh, yeah, this has a bearing because Paradise Point are just out of it here. And if Al Jester win and Helen's Vale lose, it, there's, oh, there's all sorts of variances there. Um, Al Jester, if Helen's Vale win, Al Jester uh, lose. Helen's Vale, I think I've got to win on th all three rinks from memory. To go to 18 and a half up against 18, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's it's going to be we'll, uh, we'll we'll know at the end of the day when it's all on bowls link and we can we can sort out who's up who and who's paying the rent. But it's uh, it's quite good actually. It's uh, and we'll. Uh, I think the um. Humpy's out there. Uh. <laughs> hey. There we go. Now we're right. And while we got this this view on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see there's a clock there just up near the score that's flashing. That's the temperature in a clock. And um, Robbie and I are trying to work out why it flicks like that. We think it's to do with the speed of the LED, the light coming out, as opposed to the speed of the camera picking it up. And with my vast knowledge of technological stuff, <laughs> that's what I'm sticking with. And you know what? I could be wrong. <laughs> Uh, Nan Smith, hello Nan down at Finlay, how are you going? And Clive Williams, hey, uh, um, can you tell me who the air is playing with today? Oh, I'll have to have a look, mate. Who's that Tony, isn't it? He's playing with Hayden Oster, uh, Tony Williams, Tim Smith and Nick Gosley down on rink 10. Um... Uh, so uh, they're up against Billy Cornell's Curtis Black, Judd Percy and Kobe Barton. That'll be a good game. That'll be a good game, that I might add. And, uh, oh, gee, so well, this, uh, I didn't even look at the second game next door. Billy Mitlinos, Linios, uh, Kyle Hansen, Matthew Norrie and Glennie Pitts. They're up against Michael Bretherton, Simon Barton, Jay Cross and Desi Cowan. What a great makeup of uh, of teams. Ah, good start there. Who was that? That was, uh, that's Dazza. Okay, and the other ones were Toddy. I should know Toddy Brains. I've seen him at a number of carnivals around the place. Ah, good correction there uh, from, uh, from Todd. Well done, buddy. I'll just uh, take a little bit slow while I get the uh, uh, the idea of uh, which bowls are which, and then we'll be straight into it. Uh, I'm going to try and get on a little bit later, uh, Brad Harris, um, uh, to come on board. He's managing, but he can probably come on, he said, for about five or ten minutes, have a bit of a chat, and uh, and I said, we've got to talk bowls. We can't talk about our time together up in uh, Mackay when he was a young... And he was only a tiny young kid. Uh, oh, nice ball. Oh, never mind. Uh, 
Okay, that was the uh, blue bowl of Paulie Gilbert. Now we've got, uh, who have we got on the mat now? Damon Wood. I think he's going to cut across here a little bit. He's, uh, yeah, but uh, I reckon he'll correct. Uh, I was watching them all have a bit of a roll up there before and... Uh, It seems to be the uh, the ditch hand seems to be the holding its line on, you know, on a, especially on a bowl like that. That's a that's a great bowl. Pop pop. Oh dear. Never mind. There's still only one to uh, to Darren Christie. Oh, he's gone a little wide this time. And uh, oh, he's gone a little wide. He's gone a lot wide. And uh, no, around the back. He's uh, it's handy once you get around the back there. You're uh, you're not in a bad position. Matty Bouse there. Uh, Matty Bouse coming down with his... Uh, he's got those green, light green bowls there. And uh, sitting at the back there. But uh, uh, Darren Christie's done a good job there. He's... Uh, I see Glenn, uh, Cl Glenn Clinkett on the mat now. He's... Uh, we, we had Paradise Point a couple of weeks back. And uh, his beard wasn't that long back then. <laughs> Uh, I'm just having a look at uh, Paradise Point. Glenn Clinkett, uh, gold and teal and gold. So that was Helensvale and Hamilton last week. Helensvale and Drayton last week. So the week before we had um, we had Broadbeach. Uh, when we were at Broadbeach, we had Paradise Point game, and uh, and. Uh, yeah, his, 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 his beard's got a bit full. I'll give you the drum. Okay, a bit of a clear out that didn't uh, affect the head much. Hey, boys, looking forward to watching some red bowls and listening to all your funnies. Uh, Janine, no funnies today. Um, <laughs> i got no one to swing them off. Uh, Brian being down the coast today. Um... So go the Barton boys and Joel. Yep. Well, uh, if I see, well, I've seen uh, the, the Barton boys down, couple down there. So if they come past, I'll uh, extend my your uh, hellos. So that. Robbie's gone out and confused me because he's gone and bought... We've got two new tablets there and I can't see which one updates the... Because that says live chat and this one here says chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> yeah, nothing. No, nothing comes through on BQ but this one here is ours. Um, No. So, yeah, Facebook, there it is. Yeah, it mustn't have a, uh, a, a chat button to update. That's all right, we'll just wait for the comments to come through. Around, you come around the back there from uh, Wilson Alexander. Is, uh, There we go. Geez, that's close to the uh, right on the. Where have they put it? Keep coming. Have they put the marker out? 
I don't think they, they've used the marker there. Ah, oh, there it is. Down, right down the bottom of the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, where the Elgester sign is, that's, it's hiding down there, same colour as the sign. So looking at that, geez, on that line, you would think that puppy, possibly uh, Wilson uh, Alexander might have it on a direct line inside that uh, blue bowl of Paul Gilbert's. Uh, Wilson pulling up there and... Uh, and Okay, they're going out from uh, that's the uh, the bowl of Wilson Alexander. I, ooh, it's going to be hard to say because it's is it? No, I don't think it's inside. Oh, inside. It must have been actually that bowl of uh, Paul Gilbert, the first one, the closest one. They've uh, they've taken the mat there, so it must have just been inside the the bowl that was in the uh, in the ditch of uh, uh, the kitty in the ditch out to uh, Wilson Alexander's bowl. So it's all just to get the kick off. Oh, lovely start there uh, from uh, uh, from uh, Toddy Brain. Tony Webb says, go, El Jester. And Terry Turner. Good morning, all. It's 4.15 in Scotland. Goodness me. Oh, Toddy trying to boot it across there. It's starting to come in. Uh, finish well there, Toddy. Yeah, well done, mate. Let's say, uh, I thought that was a little bit wide, but it uh, certainly came around uh, well to finish in a good spot. And again, Darren uh, taking a similar line, just running on a little bit. Toddy's bowl holding there, which is uh, which is a, a, a very good bowl. Oh, yeah, good bowl there from uh, from da uh, Damon Wood. If he'd got a little bit of a clip on that blue bowl in the front of Paul Gilbert's, he would have been sitting smack bang on it, I reckon. Going very well. Lovely club here at Elchester. It reminds me very much like um, the layout to Rabina. With the, uh, the houses in the back there, uh, just up that little hill there, and... Uh, Mind you, there wouldn't be as much traffic along <laughs> at Rabina than there would be along that road that's just outside the, outside the club here. Oh, round you come. Round you come. Well, good, Damon. Oh, 
Oh, Matty Bass got to got to shave it. Oh, not too sure whether Matty uh, shaved that bowl at all. No, he didn't he's uh, uh, Toddy Brain still holding, but by the look of that. No, the light blue bowl there of Damon Wood is the uh, his second shot there. Yep. Glenn Clinkett. He's got the uh, teal and... Oh, that would have been... Uh, did want to hit uh, Matty Bowser's bowl there. Uh. That certainly uh, is a wider hand there than the uh, than the ditch the ditch side. It said they've really got to play it out there. Yeah, good call, Wilson. Yeah, just come around that uh, front bowl, that uh, um, the light green speck bowl there of uh, of Toddy Brain. Oh, he's on a good line. He's got to be on the other side of this. Ooh, wrong side. Wrong side. Would have been handy. And Marie Kane, good afternoon and good afternoon to you. Oh, looks like Pitchy, uh, Pitchy drew a nice shot next door. So either that or he said he was going to shout after the game and they've all raced up to give him a high five. Uh -huh. Oh, lovely. Oh, did he roll it in enough? I don't think it came in. That's the uh, uh, the blue bowl of uh, Paul Gilbert. So that could be... Uh, yeah, I reckon it's two there now. Let's see what... Uh, Glenn Clinkett having a look there. Yeah, I fancy it for two there. It just seems to be inside. Just It's, it's lying flat down. Or down flat, which is a polite way of saying it. Or oh, is he in? Has he got it out? Well, well, that gives um, that gives Paul Gilbert the shot, but the uh, Wilson Alexander's bowl has, has now jumped into second. Well, we've just got to be a little bit careful, Cohen, that you don't. Um, Don't want the jack to go back at all because they're waiting in the wings on the left-hand side. You can see the light blue bowl of uh, of uh, Damon Wood and plus the two bowls of uh, Darren uh, Darren Crispy. It's got a bit of pace on. Is he going around the back? Yeah, maybe a little bit of coverage here. Good thinking, yeah, just in case. But uh, oh, it's crashed into one at the side there, which was. Um, uh, Glenn Clinkett's bowl. <laughs> oh, he's on a good line here, is he? Oh, well, he's <laughs> he's kept that blue one there of uh, of Paul. And is that, did he knock that out? Let me have a look on here. Just have a look. I think, uh, did one of those go out and Toddy Brain sat in there, did he? Yeah, he did too. So that'll be, would have been two by the look of that. Yep. Uh, which would have been uh, Todd Brain's, uh, the light green speckly bowl. And Cohen's bowl.
Yep. Unlucky, just rolled it out, but uh, got the... Uh, um, uh, Todd, Todd's bowl was still sitting in there, ready to, waiting to pounce and be in the count. Oh, come on, Darren, roll a little bit further. Yep, handy shot. Can be knocked up. Hello, Barbara Austin. Morning to you from Cyprus. Good to have you on board. Well, got to get around that. It's got the legs to do it. Yeah, well, not too bad. Had he have not hit, he would be sitting on the jack, I would presume. Oh, just, yeah. You've still got to take a little bit of grass on that ditch side. Um, you don't want too much. Uh, as uh, I was talking to one of the boys here this morning, he said it, it hangs out there a little bit. But once you find your line going up there, you, uh, he said that you, uh, you can confidently play it then once you've got your line up that... Um, oh, round you come. Falling down, Damon. Yep. Yep. Might be just out, I would suggest, of uh, those bowls of Darren's. But, and again, he's, uh, he's, he's gone narrow down that, uh, that ditch side. But who cares, he said. I got the shot with, <laughs> with a knocker and I'll take it. Yes, Pauline, I'm a little bit lonely up there, but I've, I've got I've got uh, I've got Bradley Harris uh, from El Jester lined up to to pop on shortly, and uh, there was we'll find someone to come in and uh, and uh, and have a chat to me. With uh, with Matty Bowser's bowl, is it? Oh, underneath, 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 Matty, and you've got a good bowl there, buddy. Yeah, probably second shot there, uh, but uh, Paul Gilbert's uh, holding with uh, with the one. There could be a couple there because I like those. Uh, oh no, beg your pardon. Those white bowls are Darren Christie's. Yeah, sorry. And uh, Glennie Clinkett, have you got it? Oh, bad luck, mate. Yeah, he may still have that uh, Paul Gilbert there. He's uh, just on that angle there. But I'd fancy a white bowl inside that of Darren Christie's if we're going to go that way for the count. Hannes, how you going, my boy? Yeah, Johnny Wilk, I'm a big boy now. Yeah. Uh. 
Glenn Clinkett, you've got a cracker here. Oh, no, just running on a little bit, that's all. Well, well, we've got uh, Barbara and we've got Johnny Walker on, we've got Pauline on, Hannes on, Terry. Got quite a number of people on there that uh, are very much regulars. This, as a full-time commentator, um, is my last gig. Um, I, I've spoken to Brian about it, and he may, he said, may invite me back as a guest if I'm if I'm at the at the venue where the game's on. But I've pulled the pin on uh, on being the finance director of the district, so therefore I'll have nothing to do with the district, and so therefore not in the live stream inverted commas team. Uh, certain things that I won't elaborate as to why. Uh, 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 but uh, sitting around for three hours in the one spot, especially with the double headers, a uh, uh, problem with uh, with some nerves in my legs is 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 one of the issues that I've got, um, and uh, very hard to walk after doing, let alone one game but two games. But yeah, this will be my last designated uh, call. Um, I won't be, well, I will be at the finals to watch next week at Helensvale. And if, as Brian said, if I'm around, he might invite me on to, uh, to make a, as a, now as a guest, for want of a better term, guest commentator. But yeah, I've, uh, it's, it's time for me to uh, uh, pull up my boots and, uh, and uh, I won't, won't have an association with the district as from the AGM this coming Monday. Yeah, and the crowd would roar, uh, John. But uh, then again, uh, we could put you on as a, a guest, and uh, and uh, we'd have to play them at late at night uh, so people don't go to sleep. Um, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, Clivey, mate, you got a spare got a spare set of crutches. You can lend an old digger. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's uh, Clive will understand, but it's 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 also uh, I think they call it neuropathy. Uh, is is one of the I'm getting some more blood tests on Monday in, in relation to uh, uh, vitamins and irons and leads and all sorts of stuff that may be in my bloodstream. I don't know why. Um, it could be. Uh, you never know. You never know what. Oh, is it? Get the right one. Now, what's has that jump that bowl of Darren Christie in? Oh, it's going to be tight there. Yep. Oh, I will, Barbie. I will. It's uh, so that was one of the Dolphins, and uh, yeah, I will. Um, I'll I'll be around. I'll be around and. Uh, uh, it, it, it's it's something I didn't take lightheartedly. Uh, the initial one was to pull out of the district as the finance director, um, and then uh, secondary to that was the the live stream. Never mind, we got a game going on here. Thanks, Pauline. And around we come to. Yeah, pulling up a little bit short there. Uh, who was that? That was um, uh, Darren Christie. Oh, Toddy's saying go a bit wider, please. But yeah, I don't know. He's on a he's on a reasonable line here. Oh, Toddy Brain, great bowl, buddy. Great bowl, mate. Behind, footing a bit behind. Can't get in the strife there. On you come, on you come. Yeah, Wilson saying just probably about two foot out. You're right. Yeah. Oh, toddy brain. Now that's that's a great correction from a young kid. I mean, young kid, he's a young boy, but he's. Uh, He's played some good bowls over the years that I've been watching him uh, in the juniors. A great little bowler. Oh, 
Oh, holds your head up. Yeah, a little bit narrow on that side, but he might get a straight in here. Oh, and it just run past. Never mind. Starting to slow down, so she might turn in now. Yeah, Simon, I've got a buy. Uh, oh, actually, I didn't buy it. It was, it was given to me by a friend, and uh, I put it up to about 14 and couldn't get a pulse through onto my feet because I've got none. I put my grandson on. He nearly went through the roof. <laughs> uh, so I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a chat to um, uh, Jonesy from uh, from Niagara. Um, uh, they've got the the whiz bang ones, and uh, yeah, it's just to get the uh, get it flowing. Uh, my wife's got a machine she puts on, straps onto her shoulder and sends pulses through and I put it on my feet last night and it was the greatest thing I've ever done. For, it was brilliant, really, really relieved it. But never mind, we'll... Uh, anyway, if it gets any worse, I'll, I'll give Clivey Williams a ring and we'll go into the... Uh, <laughs> we'll go into the pairs together. <laughs> To come here. This was not a bad bowl from Glenn and Clinkett. Oh, running a bit fast. You can see on the left hand side Wilson there saying, just slow down a mat. Yeah. Just not there. Just narrowed up. Wilson saying, "Yeah, I mean, he had good weight on that last bowl." And uh, I ran into one of my favourite little girls here today. I haven't seen her for ages since she uh, left and went over to uh, to Elgester. Little Pammy Rowe. It's good to catch up with Pammy. Lovely girl. Uh, starting to turn now. You want to be under that, buddy? Oh, Glenn, bad luck, mate. Uh, had the idea, but I think he stayed out on that line. Matty Bows. Now, Matty's on a good line, but he's just got to start to turn here now. And I think his pace beat him just that last bit on the end there. But it looks like there that there's uh, Toddy Brain holding two. And... Uh, Light blue, the light blue. Oh, that's Damon Woods. Yep, yep. Oh, Wilson, you're, you're lagging out there a little bit, right? The... Uh, must be different bowls because that's the line that he called. Um, uh, he called Glenn Clinkett on, and uh, he came down the same line, but just didn't come in enough. Uh, that's uh, that's a good bowl. You'd want a good bowl would be to finish on that light blue bowl of uh, of Damon's. Oh, just the other side of it. Uh, never mind. Never mind, but it's uh, just on that angle there. That's probably given uh, 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 Paul Gilbert's bowl a, uh, a lift up and uh, gone in for... The, there'll be three shots there by the look of that. Oh, that 
Well, it was a bit runny, that one, to get through. All right, Cohen's got a... Uh, Cohen's got a good chance here. Uh, he's playing on the backhand there, and I think he might be playing to come into um, uh, Toddy's bowls and just sit in there. He doesn't want to move the jack back too far away from Todd's bowls. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's, uh, that was Darren Christie's bowl. One, two, possibly... I think that's uh, yeah, two two down to uh, the point. Yeah, I, I was a, I was a bit perplexed there that why he would have played that hand unless he wanted to sit on those two bowls of uh, of Todd's because he had an open hand the other way to come in and and they already had three. He could have sat on that bowl and sat for four and, and rolled the uh, the other bowl of uh, the Paradise Point bowl out of there. But, oh, yeah, if it, yeah, it was dicey, as Robbie just said. If he touched the jack, he could have gone two down. But, uh, but then again, that's why I commentate and don't play bowls. <laughs> Actually, I'm, uh, I got the opportunity during the week, have a game on the Tuesday. Um, I wanted to see if I can get a game in during the week just to see how my legs would stand up to it. And I put my name down as reserve and unfortunately as it is with many clubs last on first, or last on first off, I missed out by one player uh, getting a game on the Tuesday. That's a better start there from Darren. Um, he's, uh, oh, you'd want to sit and hold. Oh, he's just pushed it out. Just had a bit too much of a punch in it. Finish under that. I want to finish under it, uh, Paul. Oh, he's just knocked Toddy over. Uh, that's all right. It's uh, no harm there. Still holding one. Okay, Damon. Round you come, my boy. Uh, just hanging out there, and that's that uh, that's a ditch edge again. Uh, that uh, you know, as I said this morning, if you can master it, if you can get it, you'll be on it all day, and you'll get there. But if you're either side of it, you're gone. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too true, Robbie. Just very similar to Musgrave Rink One. There, that it, it, if you get your line right with the and you can pick it, you'll and you pick it all day. You're on it. If you're <laughs> six inches either side of it, you're gone. You end up in Helen's Vale or Paradise Point, depending which way your bowls go. So they're knocking on the wood there, and uh, and, uh, and Darren's still holding there. Outside, well, it's got a good memory. I should say to Paul there, uh, 
He just walked past there. Um, I just say to him, I've been watching him bowl. He might as well come and commentate. <laughs> see, see what his reaction is as he he's just gone in to get a beer, uh, Paul Turner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be mean like. I, uh, okay, Glenny Clinkett on the map. Oh, there's a gap there. If he's got the weight, he's just got to run through that. No, just turning across there. So there, the uh, that's Darren Christie's bowls sitting at the back there, along with that green bowl. But that's um, that's uh, Matty Bowser's. Yeah, so Matt's going around. Uh, Oh, lovely bowl. Yep, yep. Well done, Matty. Oh, good line, good line. Oh, and a good hole. Goodness me, how unlucky is that? That's the one. And Pauline Barton, how do you do? Hello. How are you? Fighting fit. That's great. Fighting fit, yeah. It's, uh, I just thought I'd jump in the seat. You're here on your own. Oh, yeah. It's it's uh, all good fun. I listen to the comments and... Um, Give you someone to talk to for a few minutes and we'll <laughs> see how we go. Yeah, no, it's uh, not a bad game, this one here. It's um, Score doesn't, doesn't show the, the game so far. It's been no. some tight heads and some changes, hasn't there? Yeah, we've been talking, uh, especially in the lady beside Wilson. me here that was, oh, here we go. Wilson. Wilson. Ooh. Oh, bad luck. Um, Good that, effort. That ditch side, it's just so, you've either got it or you haven't got it. If you, if you can get it, as someone said this morning, if you can get on the line and find the line mm -hmm. and stay on it all day, you're going to be a cracker. Of a Is it the same both ways? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you see that, right? It's mm. a bit different going from one way to the other, but two cracking balls from Cohen. Yeah, well done, Cohen. Yeah, it's... Um, but if you're six inches either side, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> yes, just, yes. Well, it sounds gone. like the ditch rink on most rinks, doesn't it? So. Well, the chair, and as Robbie <laughs> just alerted to me too, uh, very, Musgrave Hills, number one, is like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's not too many that are that are kind on on that side. I bet depends where the peg is, of course, mm. right? So, oh, Wilson's had the weight, but the wrong line on that one. Good day, Dion, and say hello to little Nuggy. Last game of the season, can't believe it. Yeah, well, it's been it's been a funny season because we've had the double headers mm. with great great idea uh, the way they've done it. That's just my view on it. Uh, that it's, um, you know, they've had the double headers on a Saturday, four teams at the one venue, it's out of the way, and on Sunday you can go to church or go and play bowls. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I think there's, there's pluses and minuses. The two double headers in a row were probably um, the tough ones the last two weeks. After that, other than that, we had the, you know, the single, the double, the single, the double, yeah. the single. I think that was quite good, but this time the two doubles was tougher. Oh, I tell you what, and... Uh, Two doubles in a row, yeah. yeah Two doubles that, in a row, Robbie. Yeah, that really. Um, and, and I was just saying to the people here about why this is my last call, um, and it's um, 
uh, sitting there doing two and I could hardly walk after I did the double header and then the following week did the double header. Yeah. And sitting there for the two, I got up, I could hardly walk. But certainly playing, I think the the Broad Beach game that was a hot day. Uh, we had a double header at Broad Beach. It That's was, right. It was super hot. Yeah, that was. Was that last week or the week before? That was the week before. Week last before. week we it were was at Helensvale. Yeah. That's right. Helensvale Drayton and Helensvale mm -hmm. Hamilton. Oh, that's right, Broady and Paradise. Uh, Who did we do there? Oh, Desi Cairns game, yeah. And yeah, Burley, yeah. yeah, Desi had a good win um, in that game. But we didn't win overall, unfortunately. We took it up to them. Oh, Darren Christie. He played the ditch rink side and he played it okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patricia. Uh, now, Brian's staying around. Brian's not here today. He's down doing the... Uh, uh, <laughs> It's the MMM, which is the Max Morris Memorial, and I, f I always call it the, the Magic Millions, the MMM. The Magic Millions, yeah. yeah. The Max Morris, he's down there for the finals today and tomorrow, uh, but it's me, Bruce, who's who's leaving. And uh, um, good day, Mont. So what have oh, we got finals next weekend? Uh, Premier League Premier finals League at finals? Um, Musgrave. At Musgrave. Yeah. They got it. Normally at uh, Talonsvale. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Last year was at Muzzy. Muzzy's growing everything. I, got, I think they've got the Queensland State Championships as well mm. at Muzzy. And yeah. Ryan Bester. They've got everything. Yeah, yeah. They got, <laughs> uh, well, they got, uh, they had it for two years. Uh, the, uh, uh, when, when that was sorted out, I was still on the Premier League board. Then I stepped down. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they, they had it for two years. This is the last year. Oh, last year of the of the planned one, so they could have it next year. If you never know, to see what happens with the. Uh, uh, how, so how Paul Gilbert played that ditch rink, didn't quite make the length, and he swapped it over and not quite made it. Darren, no. Damon, this is Damon Wood. So Damon's played the last couple of games up in the top side. Um, with we had different players away, but he's been in our resis most of the year. Mm -hmm. um, but he played the top side, but we don't have Blake this week. Um, yeah, I noticed that. Uh, yeah, so he's a he's a pennant team. He's oh, a chance okay. to make their finals. Oh, Damon, that's a good bowl. Yep, good yep, stuff. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, his pennant team in WA. So, shout out to Blake. He's been an awesome asset for us all year. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, he asked if he could stay home this weekend and give that team a, cho a chop out to, to make the finals. Oh, of of yeah. course, if we were in the hunt for a finals berth here, he wouldn't have hesitated. He would have been here. With bells on, um, he's been such a reliable person and a great person to have around the club. So. Oh, certainly, certainly. Yeah, it's very, uh, very interesting. I was looking before you. There's a couple. There's, there's three games that have a bearing on that can change the leaderboard. Yes. And who makes it in? You've this got, one can. Well, this one can. Mm. Um, Paradise Point beat El Jester. On three rinks or two rinks? How That's many rinks we got to beat them on? Two, I think it is. Two. Um, oh, I had it here before I wrote yep. it out. Um, if Hell just to win, they're fine. But then if Helensvale win, and if they win on three rinks at Helensvale... They overtake El They overtake El and that puts them down to six, yeah. Uh, and then you've got the Pine Broadbeach game, which is 18 points and 17 points, to see who gets the minor premiership. Oh, yeah. you can certainly never write Helensvale off. We all know that. Oh, yeah. They're fierce competitors. And here comes GC... A GC playing up in third for the first time this year, giving it a bit of a switch up. He's normally our one of our key leads in our top side, but he's gone up to three. He did play three in our pennant team uh, last year, so more than capable. Yeah. yeah. So that's okay, Patricia. Uh, <laughs> you mix Brian and I up. I'm the good-looking one. <laughs> Actually, if you get the Queensland Bowler magazine... Is there a picture of you, is there? No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> That'll be the day that uh, Bowles Queensland put my picture in there. But there is a, on page 26, you think you know your stuff. There's a quiz. And there's 30 questions about, um, um, the first question is, which famous sailor was said to be playing bowls at the time of being formed of, by an, an impending attack? Well, that was Francis Drake. But I did get number two wrong. I had to look it up. Uh, what is the name of the oldest affiliated bowls club in Queensland? 
Oh, really? And I thought it was... Oh, what a bowl, GC. Oh, That's lovely. That's an absolute oh, cracker, yeah. He's got three... He? Yeah, no, there's the white, the, yeah, the white one in front there. of Damon's. Yes. The one on the yep. side is... Is Darren Christie's, and so yeah, that's Darren it. there, and uh, yep, absolutely great bowl there absolutely. from absolutely uh, fantastic from bowl. But I said Baruda been at uh, in Brisbane, and okay. it's, it's actually Dune Villa, uh, and I'd, I'd never heard of it. it Dune Villa, Dune no, Villa. I don't know. Where no, is it? I don't know. I've got to look it up later. Uh, Someone Google that. Yeah, and uh, but then there's some good questions. So, and then you're talking about Helen's file. One of the questions is. Uh, what's the name of the player that goes by the nickname Lurch? Oh, well, that's pretty easy. That's an easy one there. Oh, Cohen was just a bit wide there and unlucky, and he's just knocked Damon's bowl in. He had the good weight for that shot. Was that ditch rink side, so he just hung a little bit on there. So get the Queensland bowler. Is yeah, the, is interesting the quiz there. You can actually uh, read it online as well. You don't even have yes. to pick up a, a copy. So we're seeing some good battles on the other rinks. Oh, Wilson's pulled up a little bit short on that one. But is it enough to get in Cohen's eye? Oh, there we go. Dune Vella is actually in Miraburra. Oh, look out. I think that ditch rink's just done Cohen in. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually, if you <laughs> saw it, I don't know if the wind got it a little bit. It actually seemed like it really held out. It looked good out of his hand, I've got to say. Um, but so this is good. This will get um, Wilson's team. He's got an open draw here. So yeah, well, you've it'll got get Glenn. Wilson's team a few shots. So You've got Glenn. You've got uh, Damon. You've got uh, Darren. Darren, yep. And I'm just looking, one, two, three, maybe that other it, one on the it, angle up there that it, leads up to it uh, could be. Damon Wood's yeah, other bowl. Yeah, this is better, better weight on this one. In you go, Wilson. Oh, a little tickle. Oh, That's yeah. the way to do it. Good shot. That's okay. There we go. Got us surrounded. So, uh, yeah. One, Finally, two, three, might be Cohen's four. bowl. Might be the closest on the wing there. Is that Cohen's bowl or was that one of the this other? This one here, no. Yeah, uh, the one he's just going to now. No, that's GC's. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, the closest for the opposition, I meant. I oh, okay, ju yeah, that's um, that's uh, Paul oh. Gilbert's bowl, is it not? Uh, I think he's dark blue, isn't he? Is he? Oh, he's dark blue. But yeah, that's right. Five? Is. is that a five? Thanks, Robbie. Yeah, five. That's a great pick-up for the team. Yeah, well done. From well one, done. From 7-1 to 7-6, that's, that's a big difference. Go the Finns. <laughs> the fins. Yeah, yeah, fins up, fins up. Oh, don't start me on that with my <laughs> my niece is a avid Dolphins footy supporter and she's forever fins up, fins oh, up. Oh, we're, we're, we're jumping on the bandwagon, don't you worry <laughs> about that. We're on the bandwagon while, yeah. the, you know, we've got a fair bit, of, fair bit of Brisbane behind us, fins up. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I don't mind. Just wish they picked a different colour. The reds are not, red's not quite our no, thing. Oh, that's the old traditional red cliff. Uh, it is, yeah. From, uh, well, originally started no, out back in 1968, I think it was. So. We're happy to jump on their marketing bandwagon. Oh, so, too right. Yeah, ends <laughs> up. So. Yeah, there have been some good players. I've, I've, I had an argument with my mother-in-law the other day. She's 94. And she gets, she gets really cranky. She wants to know, because she's an absolute avid Broncos supporter. <laughs> and she wants to know why the Dolphins can call um, La um, Lang Park, Suncorp, their home ground. I said, probably under the same leasing arrangement that the Broncos have got. Yes. And the Reds. Yeah. It's just a lease. It's where they play their home games. But That's she wouldn't have it because someone's coming in on Broncos territory. <laughs> Poor old dear, good on Oh, her. well, the history is important too, right? So oh, yeah. I mean, history is important in all sports, as we were just saying with that, the oldest bowls club. So, oh, Darren Christie's oh. too bad. Oh, pulled up. Running on. And I'm who's this young man? Todd Brain. Toddy Brain, yes. Yeah. Good young junior. Well, he was a good young junior. Uh, He's a bit older now. Yes, yes. I've watched him a couple of years. I think, um, I think we no. are just seeing that wind playing yeah. a little bit. You can see that pushing over, which is what I happened, think, I think, oh, in the here. other end, going Look. the other way. The wind's just pushing over a little bit. Uh, I think Toddy, what a, did, this was la his last year in the juniors, I think, and he, uh, Robbie will know when he comes back, he, he won some uh, something at the junior titles. Oh, okay. 
Oh, well, I've been a few years out of the juniors now. Kobe's mm. 25. <laughs> so <laughs> seven yeah. years out of the juniors, and I don't miss it too much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's been a while. So the, the, those kids would have only been whippersnappers when Kobe was in the juniors. So oh, too even, right. Yeah, there's so many of them. And the and El Jester have done a, a good job, I think, here in the junior. They've got quite a few juniors here. Mm. Oh yeah, they got a big a lot came over. Um, they're That's a good ball from Paul, Paul Gibbett. My young baby boy uh, told me the other day he's going back to uh, to rugby union in the. Um, uh, what do they call them? The older, uh, the older bracket, the uh, veterans. The veterans, the veterans. And I said, Andrew, go and look at your license. It's got a date of birth on it. Just check it. My little baby's forty-four. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or forty-three, nearly forty-four. Uh, so Robbie's back now. We were just saying, did Todd? Bra did Toddy Todd Brain was this, this his last year in the juniors, or did he won? What did he win the? Uh, they'd be in the book there, yeah. I'm just seeing Paul Gilbert come down. He's bowled two crackers, so. Oh, lovely bowl! Well done, Paul. Oh, well done, Clive. He was a member of Doon Villa, my old club on the river at Mirabara. He's still a member of their social group, Sunday Rollers. Good on you, Clivey. I thought I always thought Barudaban, uh in uh, down New Farm way down there where Eagles used to be, the back of uh, Cloudland Ballroom. Uh, I thought they were the oldest, uh, but they must have been the oldest in Brisbane. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Windsor wouldn't be too far behind, would they? No, Windsor would be back there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Comes oh. GC. What have you got, GC? Come on, Glenn. Up and about. Oh, Up lovely and about. bowl. What a bowl. Yeah. Cracking yeah. bowl from GC. Yep. Fours gold. Toddy Brain won the fours gold, we're hearing. That was up at um, Burnett. Yeah. Burnett. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And who did I see? Uh, Burnett have lost the uh, the juniors to uh, to Helensvale uh, for the for next year. Have they? Mm. Are they yeah, they had it for three years. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. I think before that it was at it's got Sunshine Coast before that. North, North Toowoomba. Toowoomba. Mm. Maybe it was Sunny Coast before. I remember taking Kobe. Oh, that was a long time ago. Maybe. <laughs> but that's uh, good to see. Uh, oh, lovely bowl, Glenn. Yep. Oh, fantastic. What we know about the Gold Coast is that we've got plenty of accommodation and availability, right, for oh, everyone right. to come down. So yep. as much as it is good for those regional areas as well to obviously have all the junior the junior open there and get all the benefit, it's good to ha have a go down in the Gold Coast for those who can't afford to do the travelling. There's probably plenty of families both ways that miss out. Oh, so yeah, and there's some good, I'm not saying cheap, uh, but... but in, in, in cheap looking, but some cheap accommodation around, you know, you've got Paradise Point, you've got Runaway Bay, you've got down towards bigger waters there, towards... Um, mm. and some along. Ca good caravan parks around Helen's oh, Vale as right. well. Oh, that's right. Yep. Now, this is an absolute cracking bowl. GC's bowl too, but what we know, sometimes when it's like that and the jack's in the middle, we can squirt it out sideways and get a kill. So anybody who's got the spot might be Paradise Point. I think Darren Christie might have the best back. Bowl, so they'll be having that conversation right now. Just go back to the spot and see who's got out there, Robbie. I think it's, I can see Darren Christie's bowl on the bottom right hand corner there. I think mm. that might be the closest to the spot. The spot's still a fair way back. Yeah, there it is. There. Yeah, yeah, so, so it's yeah, Darren's so just, yep. just on an angle. He's yep. probably in by about three inches. That's so, about. Yep, so Paradise has got the spot if it kills, which we obviously so we often know it can do, but. You've got Damon Woods' bowl sitting straight out the front, so it's hard to knock it right on the head. So anything can happen. And he's going to get something. He's going to get something. Oh, Ooh, he's going to get nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Not a cracker. <laughs> oh, he needs a 14-pound bowling ball. Oh, that's unlucky. What do I know? He's going to get okay. something, I said, surely. But no, it looked good out of his hand, and yeah. he's he's found a hole. Holes for bowls. 
Yep, two right. So that's Matty Bowes is it with his last bowl. So it'll hand over to the skips now. Todd also won the gold in the pairs. Is that right? Silver in the pairs and gold in the singles. There that's you go. Right. Yep. Well, it's a good year for him. Fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah, and a Looks good young like kid to boot. Wilson's going back. He's finding something back in the corner, maybe. He's trying for. Yeah. Oh, he's just dropped in the ditch. A little bit long. Bit of wind behind him down there. And we'll see what Mr. Lippen can do. Oh, thanks, Clivey. Okay, Dune Villa. Uh, Baruda, and they, they, they disaffiliated for a while, leaving Dune Villa as the longest continuous. Oops. Oh. Mirabara, Dune Villa, Barudaban, NAD, Toowoomba. That'll be uh, North Toowoomba, I presume. The four clubs that started the Royal Queensland Bowls Association. I'm too young to remember, Clivey. Wilson's trying the other hand. The team have said to put something perhaps out this side if it squeezes out this way. Mm, wants to be past that he bowl does of want to be uh, past Darren's. It. Errol, he's going to sit that one down a bit. That probably yeah. would give them maybe two on the spot at a, at a pinch if it gets, gets to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cohen doesn't have a lot of bowls left on the rink, to be honest, so it looks like he's no. trying the draw. He wants to come in on that. Oh, it's a big effort. Oh, oh unlucky. Gee whiz. It's two. Two and, it uh, is. Wilson's team hits the front. Yes, yes. And uh, that's what we're looking for. Just put that there. Got him. In the reserve grade, I think the Paradise team have just kept it in front. Robbie, we've got 25-19 on 27 as a score update on the big board. 19-25, sorry, yeah. other way around. <laughs> You're on to me. <laughs> Done it again. In you come, Daz. Start up. Yeah. Just keeps running on those size fours. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a little bit of extra run? And we go. Just watching the other rink. Sorry, I had to do that. Kobe was bowling, was bowled a crack up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one down to two up, so. Keep an eye on him. And that just shows you both these bowls from Todd and from Darren. There is, you know, there is a bit of wind out there and it is oh, playing yeah. a bit of, yep. playing a bit into the game as it always does. As much as you always say to yourself on the mat, don't worry about the wind, the wind will do its thing. It can be frustrating. Oh, good weight from Todd. Look, he's yeah, close to Jack High. Just a little bit wider. Yep. yep. Just that wind push over. Pushing it over, it is that side. It's a bit more protected down this end, perhaps, than the other end. Thanks, Dion. Mate, I'll see you around. I'll be, I'll be getting around to some of the uh, the venues, even though I'm not uh, uh, doing the call, but I'll, I'll certainly be getting around to some of the venues. and A lot of friendships built up over these years. Uh, round you come. Damon Wood, what a great bowl. Yeah, well Very done, Very well Damon. done. Ooh, running on. No. Yeah, Paul Gilbert, he uh, pulled up short coming back this way last time. Obviously, I think that bit of that wind and head wind tailwind factor yeah. playing some, you know, is a, it's not too bad, actually. I'm being harsh. <laughs> Janine Brown, so how's the boys going game? How's the boys 
games going, Pauline? Which boys? I don't My know. My boys? Your boys. Must My be. boys. Janine, us, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Kobe's, I think they just won that in. So, seven or eight to three. Not sure. Could be eight, three. So, he's up. I think Robbie will get us a score update in a minute. Seven, three on the board at the moment. I think they just mm -hmm. won the end. So, there might be another one or two shots under that one. Um, and Des Cairns rink where my hubby's playing um, are having a pretty good battle right now with um, with uh, it's you know great to see Des and Jay in that team uh, in a blue uh, two of our very first bowls friends in Queensland uh, oh. when we first moved up here we lived near the Jindalee Club and Des and Jay and Curtis Black, who's in Kobe's rink as well, were all members at Jinder Lee. So it's, we haven't played with them for quite a few years since we were up in Brizzy and they were at Jinder Lee. So it's, it's been an awesome season to have the boys back around. And um, oh. and so, you know, they've all got kids now, which is <laughs> when I first met them, they were, you know, literally only, I think, and... Uh, as you know, they've both been state competitors and things like that. They're, they're good good people. Um, so, yeah, we've watched them have kids and turn into adults and get houses. and. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it, it do, goes too quick. Do all that stuff, so it does. And here comes GC. He's just going around to the back, but Damon's done. A so, yeah, it's been great to have those guys and playing with those guys again. Oh, yeah. It's it, 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 in their bowls, so uh, I had much the same, but mine was in football uh, mm. with with. But he he was playing for Queensland Country in rugby union, and uh, he went. And he could have gone to Bath in England to play over there, but he met my gorgeous daughter-in-law Christy, and he didn't go. <laughs> What happens when it's the right one? You got to jump oh, on. Yeah. Gotta grab on yeah. though. <laughs> I would have been cranky if he'd if he'd Let met. So, and then along comes the three grandkids, and now they're playing rugby. Goodness me. Yeah, no. Bowls has been a great thing for us. I mean, you know, as I said, we've moved states. We don't have any family mm -hmm. in Queensland, but we have a bowls family now. So. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have friends and, you know, as, well, like, they're yeah. like family. Yeah, that's right. Our family's all, all still in Melbourne, so we mm -hmm. get to see them. But it's, yeah, it's great to have these guys around. Who was and in Melbourne? Oh, friends of ours went down to Melbourne last weekend. And they said it was stifling hot. Yeah, it was over 40 for yeah. three days in a row. Maddie Bouse has just collected oh, Paul Gilbert's bowl out the front there. Had beautiful weight for that mm. shot. Um, he has got two seconds, though, from his bowl, so... I think they brought him up. I don't know. Has he played for Algester any other games this season? He hasn't played much, I don't think. I'm not too he's sure. A, he's one of their marquee fly-ins for this weekend. I don't think he's played yeah, too you much. Can, uh, actually, you can pick it up on... See that on Bowls Link? Yeah, somehow there. It's uh, Go to there, go to Premier League, go to that little... Oh, I hate that when it doesn't work. <laughs> That's always the, way, right? just the right. always the way, right? It's always the way. Touch it just the right thing. User error, that's what I say. <laughs> oh, Wilson. Yeah. Oh, oh, was he? Oh, he's just too good. Yeah. Just too good. Yeah. Yeah, he's given it away, but that's Over okay. The... Cohen had a. Cohen's got a couple of balls to come, so there was always. Either way, there's not a lot of balls in the head there, so it's it. It's only going to be one, maybe two shots for whoever wins this end for this. On this rink. Play a ladder. There we go. Who are we looking for? Oh, Maddie Bouch. Maddie Bouch. <laughs> I was halfway Bouch. through and then I realised who I was oh, looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Do the... How many games do the... Um, 
The marquee players. The marquee to qualify players. For finals. Yeah. Oh, it'd be in the conditions of play. Yeah, and I thought it was three or four. Yeah, I thought it was the same, but uh, um, uh, talking to Bradley Harrison, he says no, he thinks it's only three. Yep. <laughs> it's yeah. Well, yeah. saying four. Okay. Four to four to qualify. But four to qualify. But I don't think. Well, I I wrote the conditions of play a couple of years ago, <laughs> and updated them. Uh, but I can't remember because uh, they changed them this year. But we haven't seen a copy of them. Billy Cornell's because I am the team manager for the top side, but I uh, just gave them back actually. So you can check later. Um. Uh, Wilson getting rid of one of them. So it's only one down. That's a good effort. And Cohen's got another bowl, though, to put it back. So uh, got a chance to make it two. Put his nose back in front on this rink. So I'm looking across the reserve grade. I think Debbie... Debbie six. And she's playing against... Trevor Broadbrent. is 7-8 against Glenn Graham. Tracy Foster is 10-7 against Bryce Stewart. And I am not know if I can say that. Jack Ch Chir Chirgwin? Chirgwin. Chirgwin. Jack yep. Chirgwin. Let me see if I can see that score. He's down at the moment, 6-13 against uh, Mark Chucky Vogler. Just for a premier, uh, reserve grade update for anyone interested. The big board's still in Paradise Point's favour at the moment. Being the big difference at the moment for them. There's got to be a way. I thought there was a way to... Ah, there it is. Found it? Yeah, you can go into Paradise to Point. Ah, oh, no. Who are we looking up? Matty Bass. He's yeah, he's Jester. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Stone the Crows, where are we? Play a ladder, Paradise Point, go to Elchester, click Elchester, and there we got all the Elchester players. Robbie, you're, uh, are you, you're still at one more week for the bowl show this week, and then you're off for the season as well. You'd be happy about that. <laughs> Last Thursday night, this Thursday night then for the bowl show. Comes Todd. Oh, he's going to just slip behind Darren Christie. Yeah, no, Maddie's not on the Elgester uh, list. Not on the list there for a number of games. There, there's no bows there, so it's a one-off. Maybe a one-off. We bought um, Ben Winther up for a one-off. The Kobe went to race go karts. Oh, that was two weeks ago, the, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Drayton round. Uh, two, three weeks ago, yeah, mm -hmm. he for the Drayton round. He had the Australian Karting Championships over in Adelaide, so we got Benny Winther to come and fill in a spot. He's also good value, jumped in at the last minute for us, so that's the beauty of that marquee option for you. Oh, that's right. Because we did yep. have a few other things going on that week. Um, the Darren Christie's second bowl there is a cracker. I think he's probably got. He's got a couple there. Got two, yeah. yeah. Looking at it, he's probably just his second bowl's a little bit closer than Todd's bowl. I'll just check with Robbie there. Uh, how's the output for YouTube? Good now, but it was. Oh, okay, it's good now. It was now. was Actually. flickering. Okay, okay. Uh, thanks, Dean. Damon Wood, that's a good effort too. Pretty tight on all three rinks here. This is a tight game. Good effort. In you come. In you come. Is Paul it going to make No. Oh, <laughs> Don't think oh. she made it. It's probably I fancy, 
couple of cut. Oh, it's couple, couple out. Yeah. But I'd venture, yeah, Darren's uh, bowl on the left hand side there. Yeah. Ryan Town says, "Go Chucky." Yeah. Oh, he's missing this week. Towns, he's normally Chucky's lead. <laughs> <laughs> Geez, Ryan, it's good to be missed, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I'm over this side. I'm on behind the screen. I went, hang on a minute. That's not right. Townsie's played all year. For this year, we've had two team managers. Normally, we kind of only have one, and we're crossing over trying to do both rings. But oh, Steph okay. Steffi Grossett, one of our uh, lady members, is... Oh, that's no. a great goal from Matty Bass. Yep. Um, she's jumped on and been our team manager this year in the reserve grade, so it's been awesome. She's been doing the fruit and the lollies for them. I thought you – were you doing the top grade? Yep. Man yeah, you were. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've been doing the top grade this year, yeah. just helping Bill. I mean, Bill does most of it. My job's just on the game day. Mm. And this year's been a bit different with our home games. Obviously, we've only had three of them, so – and they were in the first two weeks. So it's a bit of a different – position I suppose now with these double headers with what team managers have to do so um, but no Steffi's Steffi's done a great job with the team so as a manager and, and, and getting away from the double double single or mm. whatever way they play that um, you're happy with a seven week comp the way it's been played out um, look, I think, like, I, I'm on the board at the Bowls Club, so I can yep. probably talk to what it means for the Bowls Club, I think, as well. I think the seven-week comp, you know, definitely there's the pluses for it, like, in terms of all the fly-in players, right? So mm -hmm. you can you can pay less money on all the travel costs because you're only running, seven, running them up for seven weeks. Plus, it's easier for them. They're not having to travel more weeks. Yeah. So I think that's – I think there is a plus for that and I also think that most players have definitely enjoyed not playing on a Sunday. Yeah. Um, as you were saying earlier. So I think that's a big plus. Um, so I think those things have been good. I think our home game double head around uh, financially, the club did pretty well. Single game pretty much the same as others. But we did pretty well last year. We ended up with an extra home game because Brody had to swap out. Um, and our home games were good for the club. Mm. Um, so I would say at a club level, we've probably lost out with this the way this is. But I think on the alternate year, we get four home games. I think that's how it yes. goes. You get yep. three, then four. So, look, next year, that means we should get four. We did two trips up to Drayton because we did that last year and copped it again this year. Oh, so, right. Yep. Um, you know, pluses and minuses, swings and roundabouts, as we all know, when things change and clubs, you know, competitions change things and someone ends up with a short straw that was us I th maybe this year um so yeah i think there's probably more pluses than minuses right and it gives us another extra couple of weeks to play club championships which we all know well, clubs, that's right. yep. clubs struggle Ooh. with um so i think that's good uh we've only participated in max morris this year not the premier sevens oh right yes um, a lot of clubs did that no. But we've had, you know, we had significant number of teams in that. Our over-60s are still in it. They won this morning down oh, at good. Helens Vale. So they're playing this afternoon, one of our over-60s teams. I think we had three over-60s teams. So, um, yeah, overall, from a summer competition, I think it's been it's been great. Yeah, no, that's good. I, I've spoken to a lot of the players, and you just to make a... You make a suggestion to them by way of just a, a general comment, and most of the players have enjoyed it. Um, I know a lot of the clubs have talking to uh, you know chairmen's and, and men's uh, tre um, presidents and that enjoyed it by way of it gave them the opportunity to get some of their as you said their club championships done and dusted, which is good. Yeah. Uh, holding up, Cohen. Well, I think we switch into it pretty much. Oh. Oh, and there's that's Cohen at the back there. again too, isn't it? Um, a few shots there now. Yeah, Can't really see Maddie from that Bouse's angle where, one. where Damon's bowl comes into play, whether it's a third shot or whether, yeah, which is what GC's just having a look mm. at now. I can't see from his fingers what he had, whether he said it was two or three. Uh, Wilson's got another bowl though, so but so was Cohen. <laughs> yeah. <So. laughs> yeah, but so, yeah, I favour that. Uh, well, naturally I favour the, the, the Matty Bouse's bowl and then Cohen's second. Yes, definitely two. Um, yeah. Definitely two. I'm just, I'm just not sure. Just looking where that third. white, you know, that's the, that's Darren's. So uh, it is, yeah. So it. Anyway, we'll see where these ones land. Oh, and, the oh, wind's got him over. Yeah. 
We might find a hole. Straight and up no. a bit. Nope. No. Oh, well, he's got a bit of traffic. He had a lot of traffic to get through there, so not an easy shot. And Cohen's facing the same options here. He can look to promote maybe the um, the other ball, the other ball of Matty Bouse up the front. Just doesn't want to get under Damon's. They're going to no, check. They're going to see if they've got two or three as well. Before he makes a decision, so he's a level-headed player, Cohen. So oh, he thinks things out. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think right. we ended up with six of our games on indoors. So that's been an interesting difference. Six oh, or seven. Okay. Sorry, seven, because three of our own. Then we played a double header at Capella Bar, double header at Nogra. So we ended up with seven, I think, of our 11 oh, gee, games whiz. on indoors. Yep. So this is nice to be out in the grass today, I've got to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's just gotten through. So it'll stick to the two or three that he had. But, oh, Wilson's still got another bowl. There you go. I missed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, He's got a, another There's a gap there for him to... Uh, well, he might come there's the other way and there. try and promote Darren's bowl. Damon. See what he's, uh, I think that's Damon's white, white one up the front there. They've both got white ones, so hard yeah, to... Yeah. I think Darren Christie's are on the side there. They've got that... Oh, slight, Darren's, yeah. They're, yeah, they're the white. slightly different pin tinge. They're a light them. blue Damon's, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. It's only because I see them so often that I can see the difference. And the only reason I get a mistake in this is because I'm partially blind anyway. <laughs> Oh, he's not quite made it around no. that bowl again. Uh, so pulling two out and having a look, which is what we they're all talking about. GC's not going to give up the third without a measure. In you go, Glenn. Have a look. Never die wondering. No, not at all. You see there's a, the umpire's out with a fairly long measure over on Kobe's rink. No, the jack obviously got killed or it. moved in there. No, no, I saw air. Oh, was I that two? Two, yeah. Two, okay. Yeah, I saw air between them. Actually, no. quite funny talking about going out they playing on the grass. Uh, I saw one of my old mates who is social bowler, and he says, I bet first game on uh, at Helensvale on the grass for, for ages because we're normally inside on the under the covers. Mm. And uh, he said it was good. I was getting them up there. He says, that carpet, he says, I keep kept throwing it in the ditch and I said oh, I can fix that he said oh really how I said don't throw them so hard <laughs> yeah I, have, I haven't played on it myself yet but I've heard it's pretty good oh it's beautiful yeah I've had a couple yeah. of games there over midweek which is I, great it's what we like to see right oh yeah clubs if they yep. invest that much money you want a good outcome with the surface well you've got what's the date today the uh, 16th uh, they've got um, uh, another week and a bit a week and a bit, and they start the bottom green, number one. Yep. And they're out until August, early August. And uh, uh, it, it's going to look magnificent with that uh, that second uh, the second canopy over it. Anyway, we'll. Uh, Yeah, no, um, uh, Kobe and Mo and Simon were over there this morning watching the finals and they just came back talking about just how impressive the whole club is now oh. that it's open and put together. So good on the, you know, the club and the board for having the vision for improving it. We all, all, the, we all need to back every bowls club, you know, in terms of improvement and mm. staying open and staying moving forward, right, so that we can all stay relevant. Yep. So that's what we want. Here comes Todd's second bowl. He's picked up a little bit more, and it's a pretty good bowl. You happy with that? Thanks, Lenny. Um, I will, and say hello to Gordy for me up there at Harvey Bay, uh, Lenny. I uh, I was down at the club the other day, Lenny, and uh, sat down, and uh, I was waiting for someone, so I went in from having a, a $20 oh, go Christy. on the poker machines, and... Uh, and uh, Kirsty came past and said g'day and uh, we ended up sitting there having a chat for a good half hour. It was good to catch up with her. Don't get, often get the chance to have a chat to her. Darren Christie just using his ton of experience there to kind of come in and sit and stay as a lead, sit and stay on Todd's bowl. 
Oh, hold your head up there. Stay on that line. Oh, bad luck. She yeah. was very close, Paul Gilbert. Vince Calabresi, haven't seen you around for ages, mate. Uh, welcome aboard there. And Anne Lilly over there in uh, in uh, Robbie's old stamping grounds at Dunedin. Comes Damon. I think he's got good weight. He's just going to get a bit of a tap. Oh. I might be over in New Zealand... Uh, um, and I've uh, a friend of ours over there who uh, whose sister lives at Oxford. She's just sold, and she's moving to New Zealand. And um, so our friend over there, Anne Marie, gets her mail sent to her sister's place. She's now going to get it sent to us, her Australian mail, and we'll bundle it up and send it over to her. And I said, "Oh, send him a wife. We can pack it all up and jump on a plane and take it over to her." And my wife hates flying. She said, "You can go." <laughs> So I might go over and deliver the mail over there for Anne-Marie and uh, I'm looking, I'd love to go over. I haven't been over there for many, many years. Oh, Damon's a bit narrow with this one. He did get a walk oh. the last time and his weight was pretty good. So, yeah, look, Sit. he's played a good Don't. weight again and he's touched it. So it's a good effort. Can't be unhappy with that. That is no, a good bowl. And has he taken it back? Yeah. Far enough. I think he I think has it's three. Yeah, yeah, I think it's still three there. Yep. Mm. yep. But here we go. We're seeing Maddie having a swing, and he's a swing Whoop. and a miss. So, but from what we've seen in the other ends, he doesn't miss too often with the second one. He's, no, no. He's kind of kicked the grass at the back, so he's not happy with himself, as we aren't when we <laughs> play a shot and just, we miss like that. Just don't kick that bench up there because the camera's leaning against it. Oh, oh, well, he did. It was just a swing and a miss with his kick as well. It was just the, oh, air. It was just the grass in the air he was kicking. So, as we do. It's an absolute cracking battle on that middle rink between Pitsy and Des Jr. Oh, he hasn't got the junior on his thing today. You've left the junior off him. Everyone gets a bit confused because we call Darren Christie. His nickname is Desi, and then we've oh. got Desi. <laughs> so we've got two. And then today we've got Stephen Bell playing over in the reserve grade, who's also a junior. So oh, all right. He uh, at Paradise Point and playing. He yeah. swung uh, again. Yeah. yeah. Really not too dissimilar to his first one. It's probably a... Well, he found five the same holes. Yeah, five yeah. millimetres different, but it was still the same hole. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've actually got the spot. They already went with GC's bowl. Sorry, guys, I didn't call that out. And I think, Robbie, if you just move the camera a little bit down, you'll see GC's first bowl. He's put it to play that defensive shot um, to protect them on the on on the there chance that Matty, yeah, yeah, yep. Matty got the jack. Um, looks like he's going back again. Going so back out the outside the team again. are not being greedy. They're going to, they think Cohen's probably going to get something. <laughs> and yeah. probably don't want to increase the target. That's the other option, right? And the, the more you. Oh, stay up. Stay up, GC. Yep, yes, he has. it is. There yep. it is. So that is an absolute cracker of a bowl, too. He's got the ditch covered and he's got the spot covered with his two bowls. Um, and he hasn't increased the target. As we know, these guys are so good. You Sometimes you make that decision not to fatten the target, mm. which is what Wilson's directed, I think, out there. Yeah. Oh, just a crowd strong today. Lots of people sitting around the, watching the, yeah. watching the bowls this afternoon. Thought it was going to be a bit wet. We got a bit of rain on the way up here from the Gold Coast, so thought we might have got a bit wet today, but the bomb said it wasn't going to rain. Oh, don't hit. Oh, yeah, it has. Yeah. Oh, look out. It's going to go out, though. Has it gone to... Yeah. Oh, no, the no, line's no, not the, a judge. The it's line's... Out. It's definitely out. Yeah, yeah, the line. So it comes The line back. And, the, and, the, and the peg. 
yeah. are that far apart. Yeah, yeah, they are. That that line is definitely no guide. And so those two bowls of GCs come into play. So absolutely great, um, yep. a great call from the skipper to get G to put those bowls back at the back. And now Wilson's going to try and draw another. Well, he's, he's got an open hole there to draw into. Oh, there we go. Absolutely. Great bowl. What a great uh, bowl. Wilson. That's a good bowl. Wilson. Oh, <laughs> what a bowl. And now that's that just awesome. showing off, Wilson. That's awesome. <laughs> good uh, on you, buddy. He's yeah. still got a bowl to come too, yeah. I think. So, but, yeah, we'll see what oh, Cohen oh. does. There's still options. And I certainly never say never with him. So here he comes. He's trying to draw. He's not. Going to make it. No, he's going to crash. Oh, no, he's going to get past oh, that. Oh, he's going to get past that one. So it cuts that one out. Yeah, it's had a bit more legs on it than I thought it did, actually. So um, he's cut that one out. You can see his other ball was in the ditch. I think, obviously, a toucher and stayed there. So Wilson's got a chance, though, to make three. If he can, he's got plenty of room to draw. And he just bowled an absolute cracker with his first. See how good his memory is. Wilson. Oh. oh. Takes it back to 10 all. Yeah, we've got a good game going here. Very good game. <laughs> 10 10 on 10. Oh, keep it all rounded off. You see Nick Gosley fighting back a bit there against Kobe again. You know, 6 8 score line on 11 ends, 14 shots and 11 ends. Just tell you. It's her. tight. It it's tells tight. you that's less, yeah. yeah, that's, you know, it's only 1.2 shots an end or something like that, or 1.3 shots an end. That's, that's a good game, uh, as is the one next door as well. So tight across the board. Score updates maybe on the reserve grade, looks like. Debbie Logan's up 11-3 against Trevor Broadbent. Chucky Vogler is up 16-8 against Jack Chergwin. Say that right. Let me see. I can't see Tracy Foster's board. Someone standing in the middle of, or in the front of it. Uh, Glenn Graham still got his nose in front 10-9 against Stephen Woodruff. And I'll get you Tracy's one. It looks like she's in front. I can see her score is 15, but I can't see Bryce's score on the right side. 9, 15, 9, you think, Robbie? No, 15, 7. There you go. So two rinks going the Dolphins' way at the moment and two rinks going... Oh, no, three rinks going the Dolphins' way at the moment. One rink going solidly toward El Jester. Big ball. Oh. Darren Christie, it's a good well start. Well done, Baz. Yeah, well done. Yep. Both teams really not doing anything different from a length perspective. They're yeah, it's both, been... They're both playing relatively long, so no, no real difference in tactics yet coming from either of these teams. That's a, look at that. How good's Todd's memory? That good. That's a good, a good memory. But I like, you know, you have a look at the, uh, the three boards, 10-10, 9-6... Eight six. <laughs> yeah, eight six. And you look on the masterboard, twenty five twenty four. That's a, good that's game. good games all round. Yeah, very good. And Ben Rally saying, Come on the dolphins. Peter Hughes, Nick. Thanks, Ben. We like a little bit of a support. <laughs> yeah, I've had a uh, oh, a lovely bowl. Yep, well done. Yeah, fall the right way, and you—that's the way to do it. That's uh, Paul Gilbert. I've had an affiliation there with. Um, with Paradise Point for many, many, many years, uh, from way, way back when Johnny Jones was the chairman there for, oh, I can't think how many years Johnny was the, the chairman there. Uh, it'd have to be 10, 15 years. 
Oh, that's a good stint. Oh, yeah, way, way, yeah. Oh, Damon just slipping through, trying for to get Paul's back bowl there. Yeah, that's a good stint. I can tell mm. you it's not an easy job uh, being on the board. It's uh, pretty demanding. Alex McRae's been our chair for a couple of years now. Um, and, you know, some of the board members have been on the board for years and years. Recently, Reg German, who'd been on our board for, I think, over 10 years, he, he's, he's stepped off. Yeah, well, I did 12 years at Helensvale on yeah. the board. And that was uh, that was a long time. And Graham Britton, who was the previous chairman, for, he was here for 20 as chairman. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, change is good too, though. Like, oh, yeah. you see that across, it, you know, Australian business. I think there's you know, limits now and chairs step across and it's good bringing people up and along with you. Um, we've got a few, we've had a few changes in our board and... Um, Last year, another couple, Cliff Jones, has stepped back on. He's been on there for a long time. He stepped off for a bit to do some travel. Karen Scott, one of our other ladies, has stepped on this year. So oh, good, got good. Got her and I now on the on the board out of seven. So that's um, that's good, and the club's doing exceptionally well. So yeah, the only thing I I, I don't like is if there's a whole new board elected. It, that's right. You've got to have people continuing on and, 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 and yeah we changed our constitution for that exact reason a couple of years ago so our constitution used to be the whole board spilled every year oh, goodness, and it doesn't yeah. do that now so everyone gets their seat for two years and every second year uh, yep. you, you, you change yeah. over both four or three seats so you can't have that full change because That's there is there is an awful lot uh particularly these days as we know from a governance and compliance perspective sitting on a board and the responsibilities that you take on that um, you need that continuity of people knowing what they're doing. Oh, that's right. That's right. And oh, DC, <laughs> this is an absolute cracker of a bowl. Well done, Glenn Clinkett. Oh, Sit. stop there. Yeah. Oh, well done, great buddy. bowl. I went on, um, Graham Murtha was the gentleman's name, and he stepped down to go up to live in Townsville. And uh, I was rung and said, uh, look, there's only four months to go till the uh, AGM. Can you come on as a casual vacancy for the four months? I said, yeah, no worries at all. So uh, 12 years and four months later, I stepped down. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, like all positions, like in all the different committees and that, it, you know, can be a bit thankless at times, right? But yeah. Um, it all, it's all volunteer staff and everyone, you know, my hat's off to anyone who puts their hand up to be on a, oh, a yeah. board. The main thing is that when you know, an old, an old friend of mine, and a lot of the viewers will know him, and because especially the New South Wales viewers who actually hated him, uh, a fellow by the name of Barry Gomisal, who refereed uh, State of Origin football in the early stages. Uh, Baz was a good mate of mine, and his words to me were, you will know when it's time to step down especially about riffing but about all sorts of like being on a board and stuff you know when the time is right and I knew the time was right so I stepped down oh good yeah, yeah. oh look and I think even you know as I said taking stepping down taking a break coming back again like oh, yeah. you know that's an option yeah. I think so you know we I was involved in lots of different sporting clubs throughout where my boys were juniors uh junior uh He's just drawn at junior Des can too many juniors going out of my mouth. Just drew an outright shot to the tee. Absolute cracker. And he's a golden touch golden touch winner, I think, in that UBC. So <laughs> um, Nick Gosley's done exactly the same thing on the rink next door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all happening. Uh, looks like GC still holding shot here. He's having another look. Yep. So yeah, um, on lots of different club you know, committees and boards across motocross and football and mm. all these sorts of things. And then I did. I took a few years off. I was absolutely exhausted. Oh, that's right. So when the boys come out of juniors, um, but back into it a bit now. Alan Clark just saying here, Johnny Jones was never on the board. He was president for all those years. President of the men's yeah, club, perhaps. Of the men's club, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. going to say, it didn't Donk's. ring a bell to me from yeah, all the Johnny names. Johnny Jones but, and his brother I, Barry uh, okay. uh, was at Helensvale. Oh, um, Wilson, come on. Turn it round. Oh, that's a big effort. And there, and Baz's daughter was my secretary oh, for, right. in Mackay and on the Gold Coast of all oh. those. Yeah. Thank you, Alan, for correct for, Thanks, for that Alan. information. Yeah. Definitely, I am certainly and still only a relative newbie to the club, so I um. 
But then again, Alan, I've never forgiven them because they played football for Eastern Suburbs in Brisbane. So, uh, and, nobody, and nobody likes Eastern Suburbs in Brisbane. Eastern Suburbs? Yeah, the old Tigers. Uh, okay. Langlands Park. Yeah. Right. Yeah, when, when, when team names used to be so simple, East, North, South, West. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we and, the, and the Catholics oh, were always a brothers. Oh, from Cohen Lipton here. Oh, Is he going to stay for short? Maybe not. No, I may have just run. Oh, gee, he's going to have a measure. Yeah, measure. I, I, I just had a look there at, um, at Matty Bouse. Matty just looked a bit disappointed, sort of just his arm out, dropped. Out, a, yeah. Favour anyway. the fat bowl. Always favour the fat bowl. Yeah, the flat one down. So that one sitting there. GC's got nothing. Giving us the one. Darren Christie picks up the yep. mat. Yep. Yeah, I think in Melbourne we had the same thing. That was the football teams. So North, <laughs> North yeah. Melbourne, South Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think there was an East Melbourne now, now that I say that. West Melbourne was the Western Bulldogs. Western or was it Footscray. Footscray. Back and in South. The day. Uh, well, South Sydney Melbourne, Swans, yeah. So yeah, that South was Melbourne. South Melbourne, yeah. The Bloods, yeah. 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 Jack Dyer, yeah. Got them show age now. My nan used to follow South. <laughs> well, now we nowadays we just get a bit too fancy, I think. Oh, that names. annoys me. Don't start <laughs> me on that. How they call the, the, you know, the Broncos are playing the Dolphins and the. No. <laughs> the Reds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can't see where Darren Christie's bowls landed. Must be just sitting on the ditch, though. Someone in, yep, there we go. There he is. There it is. Well, when I was a ball boy at Lang Park, uh, in, when I was 10, so that's 60 odd years ago, uh, that's when it was north, south, east, west. Uh, brothers was the. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the brothers. Catholic, the yep. Catholic team. Yeah, the boys used to play against yeah. them in the um, basketball. And they're always known as Norse, South, <laughs> East, and West. Yeah, well, uh, the boys played for West Brisbane, the basketball. Oh, okay. So there you go. <laughs> oh, here comes Darren Christie. This is an absolute crack up. Well done. They've just stretched it out a little bit here. You can see the mat's fairly well back, and they've uh, rolled it to the tee. So, oh, what tack bit of, maybe a little bit of tactics starting to creep in. Come on, pitcher, come back to me. Oh, Todd, that's a good effort. He's run into his own bowl. His weight was probably okay. I've lost the pitcher, Robbie, on... It just vanished. I've got it on BQ, but I've got nothing on... Uh, uh, tweed. Uh, it's just so when I press. Ah, uh, there we go. Is that? Ah, there we go. This will be interesting. Yeah. Gilbert's tried. He's got the ditch hand, which we all know is a bit tricky. It looked narrow, and now it's holding out. Well, hmm. there you go. His weight's pretty good. See, that was already there when that just came down. So that one is behind by about 20 seconds. See, look at this. Bruce is talking about the uh, live stream, by the way, not the bowls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry. We're, we've got two iPads that we work to and uh, or tablets that we work to and... Uh, and He's just dealing with a technical issue. Yeah. It'll probably catch up. I'll talk slow. That's so that we can hit the buzzer right when one yeah. somebody swears, <laughs> isn't it right? Oh, there, no, 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 <laughs> suff no, wait, no, no, seven second no, safety button no, here. No seven second safety button, no. isn't that Robbie? Hasn't he got a button? His finger on the button? <laughs> no, no. Needed it Thursday night, did you? Oh, goodness. I haven't re-watched Thursday night. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'll try my best, Robbie. Try my best. Cam McClellan. G'day, Cam. Welcome aboard, my boy. 
So we just see uh, Darren Christie's bowl is probably the closest to the jack and hard to tell, but that is uh, Todd Todd's bowl that's been promoted just behind that and then Damon. So a bit hard to tell at this angle whether yeah, or not I'd it's only one. I kind of think it's only one. Well, I fancy Darren, but yep. looking at that, I, you know, you've got the light blue bowl there of, uh, of Damon. Just on the yeah, angle there. Yeah, that's it. I can't pick second shot. Mm. So could be Todd's, could be Damon's. Um, but a few bowls to come, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for the side view, Robbie. And I just see GC slipping over. As I said, that you were saying earlier, that ditch rink or ditch side, sorry, is tricky. Mm. And we saw that yep. with Paul Gilbert. His first one hung wide, stayed out. Second one, crossed the head, came over, um, I think. <laughs> That was when we were in technical issue. And now we see Maddie Bowser's bowl do we, nearly exactly the same thing. So definitely tougher on that T to T at the full length. But we're going to see GC try again. Here we go. A little bit narrower. Round you yeah, come. He has got the, he, these XGs, these green yellows, they swing a little bit more than other XGs. Um, they were actually Kobe's old bowls, and I had a set of them too. They just got a little bit nicer turn on them when you need them yeah. to, but he's just sailed through. It was an absolute cracker of a line, and not, uh, won't won't hurt being back there. And Matty Bouse is super quick on the mat. I didn't even see him. Did he hop on the mat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was on yeah. and he's off again. So uh, look, he's just going to promote Damon's yep. bowl there. But again, he played that same hand. Obviously, the other hand. That might just open up that other hand, maybe, um, for Cohen. Just the yeah, way that those well, balls have been moved yep. out the way now. Um, but anyway, we'll see what Willow does first. Ah, Gavin, over there in Cape Town. Here comes Wilson's bowl. So he's played that. Oh, it looks like he's played this hand really well. Oh, oh, yep. Great yep. bowl. Absolutely. But, you know, I think there is a port there on that other side now for Cohen. Um, but Dolphins have got all the bowls back too. So I don't think there's any actually looking at it. I don't think there's any El Jester bowls behind the head. No. Oh, hang on. Yeah, Who's the white go. one? Thanks, there yeah, that's Darren Christie. So, Darren, yeah. yeah, so look, it's all um, good from a position perspective for Wilson's team at this point, but we'll see what Cohen's got. Good afternoon, Hugo Freeland. Oh, How Hugo. How are you? I, I heard him. Oh, look at this. See what I said about Cohen? Bang, bang. Oh, oh gee luck. whiz. That is unlucky. Hugo uh, was down at the club on Thursday night, I believe, for a drink, but I missed him. He's had an operation a couple of weeks ago, so we wish him all the best. He's an absolute ripper. Uh, he's uh, down at the Dolphin Cove now. Fins up. Yep, yep, yeah. Good on you, Hugo. I'll give you a call, actually, mate, uh, and tell you a secret. Oh, see what Wilson's got. This is a... Jeez, that looks like it was it was getting drawn to the ditch. Just yeah, it's not not coming. Yeah, out. once yeah. you step outside that line, it's tough. Yeah. But look, yeah. he's yeah, weight wasn't quite there with that one anyway. So that's all good. Maybe he was playing for a blocker, <laughs> <laughs> trying to block that hole for Cohen. But um, see what Cohen does now. That he has moved the jack a little bit, so it's not an easy trail now on that hand. But he but it, there is a sit and stay option there, and the sit and stay option, from what I can see, exists on both hands. So well, he's going forehand here, and he's yeah. Mm, he's got it's nice and narrow out of the hand. This is where we see it step out a little bit. Yeah, staying it's out not there. Gonna, it's not going to swing back from there, I'm afraid. Mm, oh, this is nope. a good good pick up for Wilson's team. Yep, yep. Yeah, another two, th two, One, three, four, two, four. four. Yeah. yeah, Damon's given us the signal. Four, so that is an awesome pickup for his team. Well, he's had a couple of good pickups. He had the four and the five now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Gavin, uh, all the way from uh, Cape Town there. Well, 
you'll, you'll find this, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, my surname's Kirk, K-I-R-K, and my little grandson, who is uh, nine, he's playing uh, rugby over here in, in, in Queensland on the Gold Coast, and he, because he's... Grandma, his grandfather, the other grandfather, comes from um, South Africa. He says when he's playing, <laughs> when he's playing rugby, he wants to be known as Faf de Kirk. Now, for the people who follow rugby, the uh, sorry, that's not me. Faf de Kirk is a uh, is the halfback for the uh, the Springboks. He's a oh young, right, okay, yeah, cheeky little halfback, yeah, typical halfback, but uh, yeah. Uh, Ollie said the other day he wants to be known as Faf de Kirk, and I just burst out laughing. Well, Pitsy's uh, oh, done nine something all, Yeah, good. it was yeah. nine all. I mean, yeah. it's a close game. Uh, got the Greek god Billy Milientos playing lead for Pitsy. Yeah. He's just throwing That's the jack down, so... Obviously, it was a conversion there, and well, seeing the score, we're getting updated now. So, as we see, Darren Christie coming down, and Todd, sorry, missed calling his bowl. It was obviously an absolute cracker with his first, and Darren's found a bit of length. So, see what Todd does with his second, but he certainly found it with his first, as we see kind of the same length. The mats just in front of the, maybe two metres in front of the tee, and then the Yeah, we haven't had a lot tee. of variation at all. And, uh, oh, what's this? Janine Brown. Hey, Pauline, checking on to see how Joel's game's going. Oh, okay, Janine, yeah. Um, Joel is with Trevor Broadbent, and they are up 12-4 at the moment. Okie dokie, there you Joel go, Diani, Janine. Joel another import of ours. <laughs> Joel, again, was another Jinder Lee uh, person that we met, and uh, he's been down living in Nambucca Heads for a little while. Oh, right. For a few years, and he's just moved back up, and we grabbed him over to the Dolphin Cove, so... He's um, been playing in the reserve grade. Lovely spot down there, Nambucker. Beautiful. We just see Damon. He's landed just in, just inside. Can't see him on the screen, but he's he's still on the rink, uh, just in front of the ditch. So, not a bad bowl, but a couple down at the moment. So, El Jester holding two with lots of bowls to come. As we see Paul Gilbert just pushing wide, maybe allowing for a bit of a nice. Drop in from the wind, and it's not too far away. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, That's Gavin, he short. can't do that, mate. The, the school he goes to on the Gold Coast to Emmanuel, not allowed to have long hair. Uh, so they're well, all... You can't have it too long. You can't have it too short. Oh, that's and right. It's all, yeah. yeah, I remember all those days. Had one of my boys, not Kobe, the other one sent home from school because <laughs> his hair was too short. So. Yeah. Well, you can't have buzz cuts. Uh, no, he had no. a line. He had a line cut in it. I think oh, that okay. was banned. Or yeah. yeah. well, Damon, this is not far oh. away. Oh, is he? Yeah. And we've got a lucky little whisker off yeah, Paul well Gilbert's done, bowl, but his yeah. weight was good. That's what we say. And a bit of luck, as we know, sometimes it goes your way, and sometimes it doesn't. So Janine's saying that she'll catch up when she's back to play in the AO. Oh yes, <laughs> fantastic. Glad to see you coming back. I'm not sure if I'm playing this year. I haven't sorted anything out. Oh, just just narrowed that up. It's okay. It's dropped in. Still got a couple of seconds. And we see it. It is on that ditch side of the rink again. So we're <laughs> going to see. We're going to see all of them have a go at that ditch hand. Um, that said, I still think there's a draw shot on the other side, depending on how wide your bowls are. So we'll see what GC yeah. does here. He's got he's a lefty, so um, kind of favour with how he's on the mat that he's going to take the wide hand. But no, nah, he didn't. He was standing way over on the other side of the mat. Got me tricked. I think I'd know how he bowls by now. Actually, not a bad bowl. Start to stop. No, he's Start a bit, to bit stop. Long. Oh, just running through. Yeah, again, he's bowling size fours. So it's got the, oh, it's just dropped in the ditch. Bugger. <laughs> so it was only a one Glenn Pitt scored on that other hand. So obviously he was down when the crowd went wild 
He must have turned it back over to himself, but I can see the scorers down there comparing notes, and one of them is my husband, so <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that... Uh, What's he like at maths? <laughs> it doesn't surprise me he might have forgotten to score a couple of ends, although I can see the other guy. Who's the second on that team? Sorry, the other guy. That's rude of me. Um, Kyle Hansen, also madly writing on his scorecard. I think I saw Kyle had his scorecard back on the seat behind the rink, and uh, he may have forgotten a couple of ends, so... <laughs> He comes. So, Matty Bouse has drawn a shot. Does it, is it or Damon still the shot? Hard to say. Oh, GC's just sailed through again, but he stayed on this time. I think Damon's still got the shot with that bowl I, behind. I fancy Damon's yeah, there. Yeah, Matty Bouse is definitely second. So, look, the Elchester team have got three, probably three seconds at the moment. Yeah, they've got Paul there. Um, and Matty's corrected his line a little bit this time, but he's just dropped his weight a touch. Yeah, took it off. So Dolphins keeping their nose in front on the big board in the reserve grade and um, just in front here, three tight games. And it's not too warm today, I can't complain. Oh, Wilson, what a great bowl. He's come down and he's just planted it a little bit closer to Damon's and picked up a touch on his own on the way through. And I kind of fancy his bowl for second. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. If not, he's close. So he's given himself another bowl in the head anyway um, and another touch. So Damon's bowl's a toucher. Wilson's bowl's a toucher. So Cohen's having a look and saying, well, what can I do here? Because if he comes down and takes either of those bowls with him, he's a chance to still be down. So he'll assess it. Get some advice from Matt. Yeah, hard to tell. You go on that angle and you fancy the... Uh, blue one. The blue one, yeah. yeah. Paul Gilbert's, yeah. yeah. And trade your old bowls in for new. There we go. Arrows. Oh, well, many bowls, but uh, uh, lawn bowls to you. Uh, Manly Bowls Club, 26 Fane Street, Manly. That's lawn bowls to you. Info at lawn bowls to you dot com dot au. Thank you very much for your sponsorship of the uh, Premier League 2024. Thank you much, Lee, along with uh, uh, the other sponsor, which is BCIB Insurance. Thank you. And what have we got here? Oh, he's gone big. Oh. Which is, it was they've had their conversation, decided that was the best option. And I still, I think Paul Gilbert's bowl got moved a little bit yes. then. Uh, maybe it rolled over once. Uh, uh, That's strange because they I measured to uh, Glenn Clinkett's yeah, he's, to, he's, um, to Matty Bowser's bowl. Uh, I thought they would have had a look at that bowl of... Uh, so I think he's indicated he thinks it's two. Mm. Oh, Glenn, get out. GC, get away from the camera. <laughs> nice shot of your behind. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good bowl. Yeah, now it's definitely two. Matt, mm. Matt's indicated that Cohen's down two. What will he do? It's a tuck. It's tough to draw it off. I think he's probably, oh, he's probably got to go big again. Too hard to draw that off, yeah. yeah. So um, he's nothing out in front now, so it's just about how accurate he is. Matt, Matt's saying, yep, go at it. Go at it. Yeah, yeah. Go at it on your forehand, I think. Is that the call? Where is he? Backhand, sorry. Which end is he sitting at? Oh, he's not. He's just gone a three or four down, Robbie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Oh, oh, he's going to sail through. <laughs> Wilson's wife just punched the air on the way past, so she's pretty <laughs> happy with that one. So it was uh, that was a good end from the team. It's a great pickup. Yep. Very good. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I was just giving GC the point, and he said, I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, the Weather Bureau rang. They thought it was a full eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Seeing those bowls, look at that float in from out, out there. In it's your cup. taking some yeah. grass now, isn't it, on that hand? It's a good start from Darren. You want to slow down and finish around that. Oh, this is a good ball from Todd. Uh, he had good weight with that. It was unlucky. Yeah, just rolled him yep. on a little bit. Yep. Should check the uh, check the bank account while I'm sitting here. To, I left my wife up at a girlfriend's place at uh, uh, Brown's Plains, and they've gone shopping. <laughs> so, so I don't know how much I'm down. He's drawn shot uh, across the head and drawn shot. It's a great bowl from Todd. Through the gap. Uh, Damon Wood, it's a good uh, effort. It's a good spot. Building the head. Nicely done. Here comes Paul Gilbert. Hey, he's ducking across there. Uh. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, if he can have just enough weight on that to roll that out and sit, they'll pick up four. Where were the? I um, I'm not one hundred percent sure. El Jester Reserve grade a chance to make it through. I didn't look at the um, the ladder this much yeah, this week. Yeah, I had I'll, it here. Uh, I, I was going to write that down before. I wasn't one hundred percent sure. But the, the moment Paradise definitely are out. Uh, we've had a couple of losses by one shot in the first game against Inogra and uh, the week before, I think, in a Helensville game. So it's been one of those seasons. It just all comes down to one No, they're, one shot. Uh, they're out as well. They're just down at 11th. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Certainly got some good players in that team. Some yeah. of the ladies are Pammy Rowe and Debbie Logan, yeah. Tracy Foster, I can see out there. Tweet heads are going to be hard to beat in the Reggies. Uh, you know, they're three points in front and uh, really. They'll give them to get yeah. themselves a bye in the first round. That's how it works, isn't and it? The, yep, and they're up against Helensvale today. And geez, Helensvale are running, they're running third in the Reggies. So I don't, a tweet are assured of the, uh, no matter what, they'll get the minor premiership uh, in, the, in the Reggies. But uh, yeah. Um, if Helensvale win, they may jump up because um, I don't know who Pine are playing today. Uh, oh, they're playing Broadbeach. Oh, Broadier down the bottom. And Broadier aren't they? right on the bottom. Yeah. They haven't been happy their uh, their Reggies this year. They they just just didn't gel for some reason. They were the premiers last year. Yeah. I know the first couple of rounds, I think they were missing quite a few players. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. you see, just looking at that, I think Kobe's rink, they were nine all, but I think they just dropped that, um, dropped one or two shots. So, again, still a great battle between him and um, Nick Gosley on that rink. I think now oh, we picked up. 
too. So it's 11-9 on 15 ends, so 20 shots in 15 ends. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> Still 1.25 shots an end or something. So as we see GC coming down on this rink. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, oh. oh. Oh dear, mate. Cheap. Uh, I think he's only one down still. So Todd's bowl, Todd's <laughs> lead bowl still sitting there as the shot to beat. I'm trying to remember. I think, I think Nick might have beaten Kobe in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open pairs two years ago. Just got across the line, so they've had a few games against each other. Certainly Nick's a talented player. Oh, yeah. Yep. And who's that young man leading on that rink for, um, let me look, for Nick? Hayden. Oh, it's Hayden Oster. Hayden Oster. Yeah. 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 Uh, yep. Another junior. These juniors, you can't tell. They change so much from yeah. the one time to the next till you see <laughs> them because right. they, as they get older, you miss miss what they look like. So talented. He's uh, leading up against Bill Cornells. I mean, there's a ton of experience. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Billy. Yeah. I had a new member say something to me the other day about they were a bit embarrassed they, when they first met Bill and they asked if he played bowls a bit. <laughs> um, so they didn't quite know who they were yeah. talking to. <laughs> he, he said, oh, yeah, I played a few games. Yeah. yeah. And they're just the ones for Australia. Yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. But then again, I mean, new people. Uh, new you know, to bowls, that's right. New to yeah. bowls, yeah. I mean... The, a uh, funny story, I right? well, about I don't know, a number of weeks ago. No, 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 months ago. I had a game down in Hellsville, and I played this girl. And about seven or eight years ago, I lost my name badge. I don't know where it's gone to. You know, I've never bothered to get another one. Anyway, she uh, we we're having a chat while we we're playing, and she said, uh, "You've been here long." I said, uh, "Oh yeah, I've been here a few years." And she said, oh, I don't, you must be a relatively new member. I've been here three years and I don't, I don't know you. <laughs> three years. And I said, goodness me, uh, I joined in 92. <laughs> oh, goodness. And Wilson's just trying to get round the back there because he's drawn shot actually with his first bowl, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so he's just gone round the back for some cover. Oh, Cohen's turned his back on like it. Did not like that one iota. So that's another handy Probably just a one for Wilson's team, I think. Hey, uh, Todd's bowl should have still been second shot, I would have expected. Yes, yes. Um, so, yeah, only a new member. So, you had it's three, yeah. three years. Well, that's why when you were saying earlier about um, knowing one of the, you thought the chairperson for, was oh, there Johnny, for 15 yeah. years. I'm not, I'm never going to correct you because I've <laughs> only been at Paradise Point for a few years myself. So, uh, mm. but yeah, as we, Alan Clark let us know, it was uh, the men's committee, but. Yeah. Well, no, that was a good day there. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's a, you know, we're celebrating, but uh, Johnny had a real good wake at, uh, oh. <laughs> at Paradise Point. That was a good day. Uh, Let me see, Darren Christie, he's picked the line pretty well. He's got the weight. It's an awesome bowl. Yeah, that's awesome. Great start. Oh, hello. Gary Clark, Tweed beat Helen's Vale. 50 to 48, and it came down to the last bowl. Oh, Gee how whiz. often does that happen? Yeah. Uh. Uh, Clive, let me have a look. It's a good um, start from Todd. It's just slipped in behind. Absolutely perfect line. Uh, yeah, that's right, mate. Um, what that does... With Tweed beating Helensvale, uh, Helensvale stay on 10. El Jester were already on 12. So El Jester go into the five um, in Premier Grade. Um, I don't know the score in the Reggies, if anyone's got that out there. Uh, Gary, if you have got, if you could post that, uh, the, uh, uh, the reserves. I'd be interested to see that. 
Um, but uh, yeah, congratulations to uh, to Tweed by two points. Um, two great balls from Todd and two great balls from Darren Christie. Good leading from both. Darren's just got his nose in front with those two front ones. Yeah, well, you know, it fell just up. You know, they finished fifth in this. Well, you know, they uh, they've, they've got a win to get some money, but they still, if they finish fifth overall after next week, because they, they're the first game played, um, if they're out next week, they just go on rink wins. They get paid for rink wins. And then um, uh, it's, I believe, I'd have to check. There was some talk of being paid down to fifth, and I don't know whether they changed that at all at the AGM. Uh, it used to be in my day there, uh, five would make the final, but four would only get paid. Uh, oh. Yeah, you see Cohen calling Paul on that shot just to do something to disrupt the head, move the jack. Mm. He just missed. He's laid Darren Christie's bowl down fat. Uh, still something to hit though. Hit that bowl. Hits the jack. I got. They've got the best back bowls this time. Oh, here we go. Uh, Tweed beat Helen's Fall 80 to 58 in the reserves. Okay, thanks, Gary. Um, oh, that's a big win for Tweed. Wilson called Damon just to play a bowl round the back, get something close to the ditch because he can see that there's going to be some disruption to this jack and he's just trying to put some bowls where he thinks it might go. As we see Paul Gilbert and here he's not far away. Oh, oh. dear <laughs> me. <laughs> Gee whiz, not far away. So with Tweed beating Helensvale in the reserves, Tweed naturally stayed. the two points but Helen Nogra goes and Burley go because they're on 14 or so. oh. big gap between uh, Burley and Capalaba for fifth and sixth yeah so they're uh, they both made it Tweed Helensvale uh, Pine and Nogra and Burley well done Lost. Turn under. Oh, that's oh, okay. Well, just roll him over. Wait to push Damon's bowl in a little bit. Mm -hmm. So. So Helensvale are out of the top. How many years since Helensvale haven't been in the top five? Oh, a few years. They played last year in the finals. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, well, Sher Aaron's been gone for, what, two years? Yep. From Helensvale and I... Then we... Well, Kobe used to be there... Uh, I can't remember them not being in the finals for the few years before that. I know the reserve grade won the finals when Kobe and my husband were mm. in that team, but that was maybe five years ago. Come on, Glenn. Oh, it's a good effort, GC. Yeah. 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 Putting something thereabouts, trying to get some balls in the head. So I just can't really tell how far in front Maddie Bouse's bowl is there. So whether it's one or two shots to Paradise Point or... But again, Cohen looking for some contact yeah. on that front bowl. So, oh, he's hold not your head up. Away. He's oh. not far away. Oh, yeah, he got it out clean. Yeah. Got it out clean. 
So fancy that as one, maybe one to to the Eldester team, to Cohen's team now maybe. GC's going to have a look. He hasn't given me any indication whatsoever. But I'd suggest it's down. Let's see if Wilson can draw. He's drawn a absolute couple of crackers the last couple of ends, hasn't he? So yeah. how far away are you this time, Willow? He's oh, Wilson. I think he oh. likes it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Jeez, he had good weight too. <laughs> Big effort. Gavin, uh, in our club, if you're not playing, you have to sign the visitors' book, even if you're a member, and sponsor a round of drinks. Jeez, tough call that one. Depends how big the round is, I suppose. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, round you come, Cohen. Oh, this is a good bowl. Is it running to... Oh. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. They're flicking it over. Yeah, mate. they're willing it to sit down. They're willing it to sit down, so... But uh, we'll see what GC tells Wilson. Oh, sugar. He's just collected a bowl while he's been moving out of the head. I didn't miss do what he said, but I think it's one down. Okay, mm. it's still only that front bowl. Okay, so, but there's lots of bowls there. So, um, you yeah, with a little trail, Cohen could make three, four, five. So you want to be in it. You want to be up and in it. Oh, he's turning hard uh, again. Right side, Wilson. Oh, it's nearly the same bowl as the last one. Yeah. But gives himself something else in there. But, yeah, that, that three at the back, certainly uh, if I was Cohen, I'd be looking for a little trail into that spot, which is where Matt's put his foot. Yeah, so, so you've got Todd, Todd. Um, Todd, Todd and Matt there, and I think. And Matt, yeah. yeah. Or was that Cohen's first bowl? Uh that's Cohen's first oh, that's bowl, I think. Co Cohen's yeah, first. Yes, it, was, it is. Yeah. Mm. She's handy oh, to... Uh, little touch, as they say. Just yeah. needs a little touch. Just bring it back six inches and stay with it. Oh, all willing it across. Come on. Oh. Oh. It's going to sit down, though. <laughs> Might give him another. Two. Two down, he said. Uh, was um, Two down. It's going to make it pretty close to all square on the... Yeah, Glenn said two down, so... Uh, yeah. We're having a bit of a discussion around the mat length. They haven't had the mat for a couple of ends, the Eldester team. So Cohen's checking in and give Todd some instructions where to put it down. Matt's going back. Are we going to go short? We'll see where Cohen stops. seeing anything much change. He's gone exactly the same length that Wilson's team was playing, so they've obviously both decided they like that length. Yeah, they've... Uh, when you think back on the game, there's... I can't recall a short end. No. They haven't thrown the, the jack to, to start a short end. <laughs> G'day. They've never elected Good to mate. keep it that way. Yeah. Uh, well done. Yeah, it's a good bowl to start. Yeah. Does look a bit dark over here. Looks like we could do with some light soon. It's uh, we're not used to these days where the clouds are set in. Yeah, we. I was trying to work out Brisbane. I don't know. And that's 
it's um, it's out north to Rock south, Lee Way, we? yeah. <laughs> Face it, we're playing north south, so Brisbane's yep. somewhere that way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good grass line from oh, Darren Christie, and he's not too far away. And so watch Jay Cross is walking down, shaking his head. He's bowling two bowls, nearly exactly the same, but they're just a couple of feet away from the jack, and I think they're one down. So hands over to the skippers on that rink. Thanks very much, Gavin. Uh, all the best, and we'll catch you another day. And, uh, and uh, if I get to Cape Town, I'll look you up, and we'll go to the butchery over on the farth on the surf side, and we'll go and have a good meal there. Darren Christie's just drawn the shot. Beautiful. His second bowl. Yep. Beautiful lead bowls. All right, start to turn. In you come. Come on, Paul. The shot. He's got a good line, but I think he's going to roll, fall a bit short. run at the head and I think going way into the ditch bad luck Paul so he's 18 it's 18-9 now to Nick Gosley so that he's picked up a couple of shots on the last two ends. oh okay that's, that's Kobe's yeah, yeah dropped some shots in the last two ends unfortunately looks there they are playing a different length on that one they're playing dead minimum so they're a Thanks. What do you call it? Sprinting then their way through the game. That's like my car. Uh, well, I might only be an SS. <laughs> no, you can't do what I need to do. A bit heavy, here comes Matt. He's going to fall a bit short too. And just tuck in behind Damon's bowl and Darren Christie. It's a measure. Yep, yep. <laughs> Funny you should say that looks like my car. That he. <laughs> the boot went inside to uh, say goodbye a bit of hit of golf ah. <laughs> yeah. and you know the crankiest thing of the lot he was about he'd lost his golf keys in the ignition the just lifted up the uh, side to say goodbye and there it goes up the street. Uh, Not bad way. So have they made a like Paul's bowl? I uh, beg your pardon. Um, Darren's. Darren's bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Paul's is on the line, and Darren's is a bowl in front of the line. Mm. So. The case when you think it doesn't matter, there's plenty of. <laughs> Got to wait for the uh, the measure. You see, GC's just pushed out his grass this time. I mean, no, Stone he's going to fall in the ditch. Fell in so. the drink. Yep. You see 
Paradise points still up on three rinks in the reserve grade. So they look like they've got a good handle on it. Most rinks are either seven, sitting at 17 ends or thereabouts. And Cohen looks like he's going to be all over it with this bowl, so we will take the measure out of it. Oh, Cohen Lipton. Great bowl. We already know. Yeah. Thanks, Brady. It's Brad Harris coming to tell us. <laughs> but we've already, we did that. Yeah. I'm not too sure where. Well, but I'm sure he's pleased for I'll just. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Oh, has he got another bowl like his last one? Oh, yes, he has. Yes, he has. Touched Darren Christie's bowl. I think he's pushed it just slightly oh, to the actually, left. Actually, no, it'll be, it'll probably, oh, it'll his, be. his second one's not in. Oh, his second one inside yeah, the blue. Yeah, I think oh, it's. I can go and have a look there. Um, yeah, I think it's on the outside of the white. Might be third shot, if not second shot, because the jack got moved too, so yeah. it's. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's going to just miss it. Oh, he's just done enough. Took it over. He's done to, enough. Uh, yep, he has. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's Took team, it over to Darren. His team's pretty well happy done. with that. What yeah. an awesome, awesome draw shot. Yeah. Very good. Oh, well, three awesome draw shots. Two awesome draw shots from Cohen, <laughs> and then right. one awesome draw shot from Wilson. So, you know, big skipper bowls. But this is only his second week at... Skipping in it in the in the premier, did he? He's been playing second, has he not? Uh and third, yeah. Second and third, yeah, we yeah. Moved, moved him around a little bit. Second and third, you know, just um, I think we had a pretty good start to the season. We picked up a couple of wins at home, and then we had a draw against Pine mm -hmm. uh, at Capella Bar, and then we've just lost a couple. Um, but yeah, just trying to find the right mix with the team. Like with all, yeah, we've obviously got some new players coming in. So, you know, Wilson's pretty versatile. Oh, um, certainly is. But um, just trying to find the right mix of the players across the team. So Billy's tried a few different things. You know what they say, hindsight's twenty twenty, and <laughs> sometimes it just depends. Some mix, you know, some weeks are better than others on the matchup on the day, right? Like you just, um, everyone's a good player in this competition, so. <laughs> oh, there's uh, actual results there from the Helensvale game, the score sheet. What's that? Oh, Maddie Lucas over Peter Taylor, 17-15. Oh. Oh, that was a close one. Gary Kelly defeated Brett Wilkie, 18-17. Oof. Uh, beat Lurchie, 17-14. Uh, wow. All good games. Thank you to the uh, Club Hallensvale Hawks members who keep posting those for I noticed there that um, Tweed did a charity round this round. Uh, and not yeah, Anogra did last.
weekend they did a charity yep. round. Um, I won't get. The, I won't get. I won't even try and say it. But it was uh, one of their members. I think had lost a granddaughter oh, okay. to a particular disease. I want to something mm-hmm. blastoma. I'm terrible oh, at that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, their charity round was last week. They were selling tickets for some meat trays and things like that. So I think. Um, oh, sit. The, no. The clubs later in the season that have been able to, as you know, we used to have a charity round where it was the same mm. everywhere, right? So, yep. but obviously that's a little bit trickier now with this home and away yeah. oh, double yeah. header, you know, thing going on. So, yeah. Well, we had, uh, when I was there, we had two charity rounds, which was on the same, and it was for one charity at each of the venues. And then last year, uh, it was made. Uh, we made oh, it. what a cracking bowl from Damon Wood. You could pick your charity and have it on and have your own day for your charity round. Yeah. And, and that, that was a lot easier for the clubs, you know, because I can remember trying to order those shirts and buy the shirts. And yeah, go, the oh, shirt the shirt thing is a bit tough, um, I've yeah. got to say, from having done that in years gone past. And to be honest with you, when I look at the drawers that I've got at home, I there is so many bowl <laughs> shirts in my house from all these different yeah. rounds. And not enough opportunity to wear that many shirts. So oh, that's right. I, I would certainly rather see the money personally go to the charities, um, maybe than the shirts. <laughs> I've, uh, but, actually, uh, I've got a shirt like similar to Robbie. We we got a photograph of it each at Lightning Ridge, uh, the Lightning Ridge shirt. And uh, all I know is my wife said, "Please don't wear that in public." <laughs> it's got. Galahs on it on the front, and oh, it's a, it's very historical there. Uh, the Lightning Ridge one, it's been for the last 18, 19 years. The same guy from there has painted, a, 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 done a painting, and um, there's 18 of them up on, on the wall. Oh, people with talent, gosh, oh, yeah. I don't have any of that. Oh, he's a well renowned painter out there at um, artist, not a painter, an artist out at, uh, at Lightning Ridge, and uh, yeah, oh, nice shirts. We see GC coming in and uh, drawing another shot, so I favour that for maybe three shots at the moment to Wilson's team. Uh, Paul Gilbert's bowl's not too far behind, though, but the only bowl on the head for the Eldester team at the moment. So... There we are. Let's go back a few years. <laughs> they have... Yeah, oh, there's no doubt there's some good shirts out there, but uh, yeah, not as not enough tournaments to wear them all in. I well, think. that's and, right. Yeah. Uh, certainly, from you know, from a club perspective. Oh, if, if, oh, oh gee, was out. there a hole there? <laughs> I think that steered through the hole. No way. Unbelievable. Is there a hole there? There is a hole. Yeah. Maddie just proved it. Um, Got to watch that again, yeah, Robbie's saying. Oh, look, here we go. Look. <gasps> oh, you know, it did just touch G's bowl at the front. Just, yeah. just on the way past. It just got a light feather that straightened it up because I didn't think there was a hole there. But, oh, was that enough to shut that hole down? Matt's looking. He doesn't like it anymore as much as he liked it before. But mm. I still think he can use G's bowl on the side. But Cohen's put his skinny... Skinny behind in front of the camera there. No, he's off. Yeah, Terry, don't know how he got through there, mate, but uh, it certainly did. Holes for bowls. Yes. That's where the saying comes from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. No, I think he likes this one wide. as much. He's giving it the action with him yeah, to pull it in, so... Fiona Hall, good to see Jay Cross back out there on the green against his old club. Yeah, Jay played here for a year. He actually hasn't played for the last couple of years. Mm. Um, Jay, and as we know, he's played for a few different clubs. He did play for Jinder Lee. Jinder Lee came into the competition for one year, and he was one of our skippers there. He went to Swifts, I think, after that, from memory, um, before he came to Elgester for a little bit, and then he hasn't played. He's got two little twin... Uh, two twin, two twins. Of course, he's got two twins. <laughs> yeah. He's two got twins. a set of twins. Sorry. <laughs> 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 
a set of mm. twins which have kept him busy for the last little while. So, yeah, uh, look, he's loving his bowls and uh, his mum's sitting to the left of us here and she's got an L just to chop on. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, he's loving his bowls, and he's—I I believe he's entered the state uh, championships. And I—I am a huge fan. I always have been. I think he's an amazing bowler. Um, his touch is, you know, second to none, along with the guy he's playing for there, Des Can. Yep. Um, and uh, he's a great fella too. Um, you know, just such a level-headed, uh, heart genuine, hard-working person. Hence why we put him in the blue shirt with us, not this blue. <laughs> <laughs> Very lucky. Oh, is he going to oh. Oh. oh, he's just pushed G through that hole. So what's on now? Cohen's got one bowl left. Well, you've got Darren holding, and there ain't much around him. Uh, oh, you've got that light blue bowl there of, uh, of Damon. Yeah, so we've got one of Damon's, one of Darren's. Uh, so you got I Darren he could try Damon. The split. I don't know if that other one of Paul Gilbert's is outside there. Yeah, what happens if he what happens if he no, he can't split them either because of all that stuff out the front. Here we go. Is Wilson gonna sneak around? Oh, Todd's bowl, he did. Oh, he probably would have been better off not dropping, maybe, but fat bowls are harder to move. <laughs> so we see. So Des Cairns rink, Des has just picked up a couple. So it's 13-12. What a game. 13-12 on 15 ends. Uh, Des, he, oh, he's playing Pitsy, yeah. 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 So an absolute cracker. They have been trading blows. Oh, has he got a swing on to... Ooh. Oh, gee whiz. Well, there you go. Wilson's bowl was in a good spot. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wilson comes down the green and says, come on, Dolphins. Fins up. So you're going to be streaming all weekend next weekend from the finals? Yep. yep. Live stream all weekend. So do From the first yeah. game on the... Is the first game in the morning? It used to be afternoon and evening. 12... 12 o'clock and 5 o'clock for those interested. 12 o'clock, 5 o'clock Queensland time for two games next Saturday and then into Sunday's elimination, 9 o'clock and then 1 o'clock. So bowls all weekend next weekend. Yep, yep. Uh, we saw Darren Christie throw. What did we throw through the jack in the ditch? I was too busy talking about the finals next weekend. Missed it. Yeah, 43 all. Gee whiz, we've got a game on our hands. We certainly do. Good bowls too, like to finish off the season, but uh, and a good preparer for Al Jester maybe into oh. next week. All oh, right. Around the back. Well done, well done Toddy Brain. Yeah, great start. Right. Yeah, 
angle of where that ball's sitting. It's pushed Damon onto this ditch side. Ditch side. How's he going to play it? He yeah, wants to turn oh, now. Oh, it's a big effort. Come on, Certainly buddy. Certainly a big effort. Oh, yes. yeah. That is a great effort. Yeah. Second shot. Can't be unhappy with that. Kobe's rank dropped to one, so it's 19-10 on 19 ends, two ends to go. As I said, as they continue to play short, they should be the first ones off. Keep it running. Come on, Paul. Uh, Wilson saying, you know, put about a yard on extra. Come through that gap there. Yeah, pick up the jack. Tough on that. It's tough on that hand though. But um, I like the line. Hold yeah. your head. Hold your head. Wilson likes it. Wilson's loving it as he got through there. Oh, yep. yes! What a great shot. Uh, Skipper asked, and Damon delivered. And he's taken a seat on the sidelines. Yeah. <laughs> It's a funny thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> so. Well, there's a couple. There's a couple, um, young Damon. And uh, who's is that at the back there? That's. Um, oh, don't call him young Damon. He turned 50 last year. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> don't say that. I'm turning 72 around the corner. Uh -uh. God, stay We, went, we went, went to his 50th last October. Oh, so, God. Yeah. I had a wonderful 70th a couple of years ago. <laughs> Brian Marshall gave me COVID at the Nationals. Oh, goodness. Mm. That wasn't very nice of him. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Kept a little bit for himself, too, though. Oh, Radika, Bull of Anaka. Oh, there's lots of room to draw, so here comes G. Wilson's encouraging it in. Yeah, oh, he's got on. the line. He hasn't got yeah. the weight. Yeah, Radhika, uh, my uh, youngest grandson, wants to know. <laughs> I think the question was more along the lines of, Pa, when are you taking me back to Fiji? And I said, oh, soon. Maybe we'll have a holiday again over there next year or later this year. But uh, days around the place. When? See what he's got. Looks a bit quicker than the last one. Yeah, but he's. Oh, he hasn't got the grass, so. No, but he might fall in that. Yeah, still going to be in for a count, but lots of balls to come, and there's plenty of room. They've got to get something in there, uh, uh, Matty. Yeah, yeah which he has, yeah. One to El Jester. So I think, I think the El Jester team just picked up a couple on Des Cairns' rink. If they'd taken them short up with... Stretch it out again. Oh. 
Uh, Wilson, Wilson, you got to. Oh, may not be coming in. But I don't think so. No, I think it's out. Yeah, El just is saying, yes, well she's out. out. Yep. Yep. Yes, certainly will, Radika, if we get over there again, we certainly will get to see. Like oh, Cohen, you've got a good yep. bowl here, buddy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Plenty of room to draw. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, 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 you can draw around that bowl of, of Cohen's. Uh, yeah, Cohen's got another bowl to come to, so mm. I think um, Wilson's just waiting for Michael Breth Bretherton, who's on the other mat, just to jump out of his eye line, just on the next rink because we're so wide. The... Jack's pretty close to the peg on that side. Now he's out the way. He's having a go. I don't think he's got the legs. Oh, not this time. No, Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. Okay, well, here's a, uh, an opening for a bright young boy. And uh, Cohen, see if we can draw it around. Well, same bowl, we'll be happy. Same bowl. Yep. So how many is that? Plenty of room. You can get around the back. Around the back's a good one. Don't have to worry about those front ones. Oh, Cohen Litvin. Yeah. That's three shots. Jesus, could well be. No. Well, the choice... They won the mat and they took yeah. it long. Um, Jeez, I'm. Well, they didn't measure. I, I thought it was three, maybe for four, but I. Uh, nah, G, that was GC's bowl in the front. In uh, the front the, one, yeah, was it? The oh, green okay. Showing. Yeah. So, no, nah, definitely. Only oh, yeah. Three. Glenn was, yes. couldn't see the other side of the yes. goal part. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, 15 21 on the big scoreboard for them. 18 ends, few to go, three to go. And here we go. We see this one stretch out. The mat's actually right back. It's only two inches, three inches in front of the tee. Yes. In front of the mat. Yes. So this one's close, as, close, close. as close to full length as you can get. Uh, never mind, Toddy. That's not too bad. You're behind. And we see Nick Gosley's rink up 19-11 going into the last end. Mm Plenty of ends to go on these couple of rinks. Des Cairns rink's only up to N16, so we'll see that rink fight it out for a little bit longer. Pretty good effort on a full length. Yeah, good effort there, Toddy. He's not happy. He's, He's not happy with it, but, but you uh, know, yeah. that's what we get. Our worst critics are often ourselves. Right? Oh, so too right. See so Darren Christie just drop in the ditch with his one. So I'll hand over to Damon in a minute. Oh, Paul Gilbert first. So there's a uh, a nice hole there to uh, to get into. Come on, Paul. <laughs> uh, favourite toddies. Plenty of room. Uh, good bowl here, Damon. Yep, 
Well done, mate. Great bowl, Damo. Yeah. Doesn't mind a T to T, hey? Yeah, it gets to stretch it out and... Uh, <laughs> Gilly likes this one. He's chasing it down. Oh, it's worth chasing. Yeah. Oh. oh, I think he's still out. Yeah. Based on the, what we're seeing on the screen, it looks like Damon's might still be the shot. But one's straight. Yeah, no, I'd fancy Damon's. Um, <laughs> I'll ups oh, he's not here. I like upsetting Robbie by. <laughs> no, he's, he's disappeared. I, I go. <laughs> no, I won't tell you. Oh, Damon's oh, just, just falling short on this one. I'd have yeah. jumped up to run after it. <laughs> Here we go. Sticking with the wide, non-ditch hand. Nice turning hand. Plenty of room to draw when it's T to T. Yeah, that ditch would be a little bit harder now, especially oh, with yeah. you know, the clouds come over the uh, the, the night air or after, late afternoon air. And Damon's bowl position shut that hand down at the moment mm. for anything worth playing. So. G. It's not too far away. It's a good effort. What is it? Uh, four minutes to five. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, the lights are on. Yep, lights are on. Lights Best are part on. about four minutes to five. The shops are at five. My wife and her girlfriend can come back home. I was going to say, not the supermarket. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, she, they wouldn't be shopping at a supermarket. Those yeah, two. They can go there. <laughs> oh, they, they can, can go there if they want to. Pick up some cheese and <laughs> bickies. Oh, I know there's plenty of that at, at uh, where we're going. Head off to the bottle shop. Yeah. Oh, no, she doesn't Still drink. Still places to spend money after five. That's all oh, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's a non-drinker. Oh, non-drinker. Yeah, okay. which is, yeah, I've got the good sister. She says pushed it out wide, and but he forgot to put the weight on it. Oh, yeah, just... Oh, Glenny boy. Saying go wider, go wider. Didn't like it out there on that line. No, there's definitely a lot of grass to be had out there, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Yep. For this hand. Oh, we've got to pull up Wilson. Gonna get around? Oh, maybe not. No, he's no, he's ducked again. Same, same bowl as the previous one. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, he's probably a touch wider because he ran into the other bowls yeah. last time, and then he ran into the one he just bowled. So pretty good. Yeah, I'd be interested to. Which one do you fancy? <laughs> I 
Is there an opportunity for Wilson to... Yeah, that's what he's doing. Oh, no, too fast. Come through that gap up there and, and try and take that blue bowl out. Yeah, he must have been one down so, then. Oh, hang on, hang on. Who's got the mat? Darren Christie's got the mat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what was this? There you go, it was Damo's yeah. bowl. It was Damo, the right. light blue one, yeah. Oh, right yeah. in the first place. <laughs> and then just having a bit of a chat about the length. So, they have all been playing long the whole game, so Wilson's saying, nah, That's take it back, take me, give me to the middle. We're going up, Robbie. Gee whiz. Oh, Darren Christie said straight away, oops, sorry, Skipper, I pinched it a little bit too long. Uh, Wilson says, yeah, that's all right. All right, something different anyway. Yep. Got to give Robbie a challenge. They've been a bit boring. T to yeah, T all have. game. He's just been able to stay the same the whole time. So Nick and uh, Kobe are finished by the look of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Kobe won the last end, 1912. 1912. 1912 on 21. Let me see our leads adjust here on this ring for the different length. Yeah, Both certainly did. Just pull up a little bit, a little bit shorter than they like. They'll get it with the next. Uh, running through. Uh, he snuck around. He's still a foot off, but anyway, it's shot. It's all that counts for now. Is he around? Oh, no. He's just going to promote himself uh, sideways. Had it? On this ring, 22.15. 22.15 on this ring. All right, someone just coming past asking for a score on the ring. Strange stopping in front of the camera doing it. Yeah. Bryce Stewart, I oh, call him out. Sorry, Robbie, I, I just moved my microphone to answer Bryce. Bryce Stewart just answered <laughs> the score and got in the way. And you see Damon have a bit of a rub and a niggle on the way through to get himself into the head. Uh, bowls out the front now on a shorter end, so that makes it a bit tricky. Yeah, through the gap he's saying. There's a nice gap there if he can find that through that gap there. I think he's got the gap. Yeah, has he got to pull up in time though? Oh. No, it's never mind. It's okay. Behind the head's it's all good. We've already right. got a couple. I'm not. A, I don't think anyone would be unhappy with that shot. Yeah, well, Daryl's Daryl. Darren's holding. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Gilbert's got the same oh. hole, has he? No, he's no. running into Todd. Oh, bad luck. Oh, he's shut the hole down too. Yeah, that's making it a little bit difficult. It's Let's see what Wilson says. Yeah, yeah he's going to yeah. push GC onto the other hand. Wait. Around him? Nope. nope. He hasn't. 
Ooh, that was Todd's bowl. Yeah, he made contact with, so. <laughs> Cohen's sort of saying, well, I don't know how we're going to get you in there. Uh, yeah. We're promoting anything through that middle, but I think it's probably two shots. Yeah, so you can promote. Um, yeah, if you're Cohen. narrow, he said if you're narrow, it's fine. You'll get off Darren Christie's bowl, I think was the call. But he's hanging wide. He might get off Darren Christie's other bowl. No, he's going to push no. it in. Okay. As we all know, when there's bowls in the front. You're going <laughs> to hit them. <laughs> yeah. It's just taken a little bit of the width off the, off the shots, with it being that shorter end. And... Um, All right, Glenn. Here we go. Oh, he's found a hole. He's found another hole. There you go. He's out the back. So Darren's holding there, but, you know, there's an opportunity here to roll uh, Toddy Brain's bowl in. Um, yeah. And, there was, and that's what um, uh, uh, Cohen was saying. Come in onto either Darren's bowl and... And, yeah. And fall, or promote. Uh, he got mm. Darren's bowl instead of um, Todd's, so he'll probably give that another. There's only one reserve rink left out on the paddock. I think yeah. they're playing their last end. So Paradise have won the reserve grade. Uh, looks like on all rinks bar one. Okay, have you got this bowl that we're looking? Oh, oh too far. Mm. Oops. Oh, just went. I think Jay Cross had drawn the shot and Pitsy's come and taken that bowl out. Said that'll be enough of that, thank you. Yeah, hey, good so bowl, Pitsy. It's over to... Desi Can's got a bowl left. I think it's Michael President's bowl on the side, so it might be one to Pitsy at the moment in the head, and Desi's got a bowl left. Oh, Wilson. Yeah, yeah, he's just a little, a little wide. A little wide there, though. There oh. he is. Yeah. Oh. Uh, his bowl's getting pushed around everywhere. As they assess it. Mm. That's still just saying, be confident, play into it, get one of those, get in, you'll be right. Well, he hasn't got that bowl of um, of uh, Todd's to, to play onto now, but he's got a nice open draw there. Just up. Looks like just the one shot, yeah, yeah. the one shot to Glenn Pitts. Yeah. And just miss. Oh. Ju oh. Oh. And they're saying that they've got the shot now with Todd's bowl, so it's just tip Damon's bowl up. So those other bowls in the front are not closer. They're not in, no. No, nope, so they've um, changed it over to one shot to Cohen. So we'll see what Wilson can do with his last bowl. He's changing hands. He's looking to promote something. Maybe. Yeah, maybe his. What side? Oh, no. The he's green. He's, taking, oh, he's going for the shot bowl. That's uh, going to be more than promotion. Gee whiz. He went for the shot bowl. Obviously, mm. he had three seconds probably maybe in play. So, he went for the shot bowl. Can Cohen make it two? Okay, don't stand there. Uh, forget about the map. Now nah, we're right. Come on, Cohen. Looks like he can. Yeah. Oh, as they say, why for you make it so easy? <laughs> Just lovely bowl. Lovely bowl. 
Well, we were saying it was no good on that hand. He just yeah. showed it was fine. There's no issues on that hand. And we go back to T to T. So okay. the point having a good win in the uh, reserves at the moment, 84, uh, 84 62, so they're well up there. And uh, just got to get the master board to be updated. All right, last end. No. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, that was the 20th. We're coming up that way for 21. Good way to start it. Yeah, well done, Toddy. I think we had Brad coming past before, right, saying they needed at least one rink out of this. Yeah. 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 Um, so they've got that. This um, next win. And... Aaron Christie, oh, 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 missed everything. Thought he was going to get both. Uh, well, Premier League. Okay, so Ellensvale lost, didn't they? Yeah, so. Oh, great bowling, Potty Brain. <laughs> yeah, Skip only remembers your last end, right? Is that right? <laughs> I think what... Um, what a way to finish. No, they're, they're in fifth spot no matter what. Because Helen's far lost. I think he said something about a Nogra. Oh, yeah. Um, a Nogra, 10 to 12... Um, I think you said if they lost, they had to lose yep. and, only, and win a rink to stay yeah. ahead of a Nogra. Yeah. I think. On rinks it is, yeah. Yeah, that's what Brad was saying. So, all good. Yep. the back. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Gilbert. You don't want to touch it. You just want to get into the pack there. Well done. Ah, lovely ball. Yeah, that's a, a good... Well, I don't know where the other one is. It's uh, right at the back, isn't it? Let's get something in the area. Yeah. Damon needs to just be somewhere in the area. Oh, yeah, well, that's uh, Darren Christie's right at the back. Damon's missed oh, as well. there's this another a, one. It's a tough hand to play. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, 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 oh well. sugar. Uh, was that And clink it. Just quick. 
quick too. Yeah, a little bit quick. Uh, yep. Unlucky. So, uh, two good bowls of uh, young Toddy to, uh, to to finish the last end. And, uh, Matty Bowles, around you come. Mm. And all of a sudden, yeah, this there's been a, a bit of trouble. There's a number there. Mm. I think on the rink next door, I think Pitsy might have sunk the jack into the pit as well. I, can't, I can see his bowl, but I can't see where the jack is. But I think there's probably about two foot maybe to draw for Des Can Jr. Yeah. I can see the red dot maybe beside the rink number. So there's certainly room to draw a shot there for Des. Uh, here comes G. What can he do to get amongst it or give something on the rink? Not, not enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. He's drawn it oh, pretty much to yeah. the jack there. We see that being picked out. But oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. Just in the ditch there. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like he's down two. The one in the ditch and then pits his bowl. It's a big skipper end for Wilson. The last end, he's down a, a ton. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, I'd say. One, two, three, four. I'd say GC's yeah. bowl maybe beats Paul Gilbert's out front, maybe. Oh, to beat that one out yeah. there, yeah. But it's, so it's uh, five at the moment, and this yeah, one makes six. Uh, he's down. Oh, he's did it make it? I don't know if that made it in time. Yeah. Maybe not. It's definitely four plus that one there, maybe. But it's going to be a bit of weight into it. Oh, don't duck. <gasps> oh, that's oh, well, all that's done is just brought another one in. He brought in the one he didn't want in. Yeah, that's that's the one he didn't want, yeah. Uh, that was the one that was holding... Uh, we know how wide uh, that hand's been. It's been a wide hand. It's, uh, it's yeah, been tough to play. But gee whiz, I mean, he's under an awful amount of pressure. <laughs> oh, yeah, because there must be one right down. at the back, which would be yeah. uh, Glenn Clinkett's. There's two on the, on the, uh, on the edge, two yeah. on the bank, and Glenn's at the back, plus uh, Darren Christie's bowl there. Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, is it? It's all of them. Five and a, and a bit. Cohen's going behind. Yeah. Yep. As you would expect. He's probably still in the count, though. <laughs> he probably, yeah, I mean, probably is, too. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Glenn might be holding that one out of it. This one over here. Yeah. Sugar. Yeah, that's that. That's a hoodie. That one. Mm. And pushed it out wider. I think it might have pushed it out too wide. Uh, nothing more is there. No, I think no. That's He's going to run into that bowl. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. One. <laughs> That just oh. cut out six shots, wow. five shots. Yeah. That's a huge bowl. Oh, too right. Yeah. I thought he might have been a bit wide there. I thought he was going to run into that one out the front oh. and side. Nothing at all. No. Uh, there's oh, nothing well, worse having good. to put two oh, hands look, I'm up. Pleased, I'm pleased for yeah. the team to come away with the rink win. It was a, that was a good game. Yeah, uh, both teams uh, played really well and good for Wilson's team to come away with the win. Yeah, well done. And, uh, you know, well done to El Jester. They've... Uh, you know that that stage. keeps them now in the in the hunt. They've got uh, they come by virtue of coming fifth. They're in the playoffs or the, the finals next week. Uh, depends how they play. They jump to fourth. They're in the money. But I've, I've got to check that in the. Uh, I'd have to check that with the conditions of play, but because uh, it's usually the last page it mentions. Yeah. The prizes. That, uh, Are we watching the last two ends? 
of the other rink, Robbie, or what do you want to... Can do. It's up to you. And the best part about it, the winning side gets to bring in all the equipment. <laughs> to which Cohen... <laughs> so... Second last end on that rink, 19-13 at the moment to Pitsy's team. Certainly been a pretty good battle. Uh, Des must have won the last... Yeah, it was 19-12, so Des must have picked up a one on the last end. He must have drawn it after I was talking about it, and I missed it. Uh, so Michael Bretherton started. Looks like it's one shot to him. So the blue bowls are Billy Miliantos's and the black bowls are Michael Bretherton. This is where we see Simon Barton now with navy blue bowls coming down. So test my Oop. test me out a little bit. Kyle Hansen's on the mat. Um, I don't know much about Kyle, so not too many players in Premier League. I don't, I can't talk about, but mm. he's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kyle. But uh, I have seen his bowls uh, in play a fair bit today, so I think he's had a pretty good game, and this is not a bad shot. This is another good... Oh, oh he's just missed it. He needed to feather that. Yep, talking yeah. about holes for bowls, and he's found one, so... I'm not sure if he's new to Algesta or if he was here last year. Nobody's not sure. Simon's second bowl, my hubby. Going back to play with an old set of Green Masters. Looks like he's got <laughs> up off the mat and pulled up a bit short. Oh, second bowl, I think Simon's bowl put in the road of the draw shot, so he's switched hands yep. oh, and he's pushed it back to his first one. Just tickled it back and he's uh, and it's Tidied rested it up. against his, his, his first bowl. Yep, well done. Well, it's at least one. That's Michael Bretherton's bowl behind Kyle's bowl. So Yeah, Michael's the black bowls, aren't they? Yeah. Remember that from uh, so a couple of weeks ago, a week. It's one or two. Jay and Des talk about it. Des is calling him in and off. Spit the kitty out the side. Give us a chance to start again. The last Premier League rink finishes off. So that was Trevor Borbrent's rink. 24 finished off at 24-10. Against Debbie Logan. That's right. Yeah, Michael Bretherton is the... Uh the full black yep, bowls so. uh, from a couple of weeks ago. We had him. Uh, he was playing. Uh, who was he playing? I think he was playing. He was playing. Third to Desi. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. A, 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 the live stream game against Aaron Tees at Broadbeach. Yeah. That's the one. So, yeah. Uh, the reserve grade finishes 88-64 to them. Oh, my goodness. Talk about holes for bowls. Jay Cross has just found one. <laughs> <laughs> There's holes out there everywhere. Joshua Beatty, how are you, my boy? Hope you did you play today or did you go out and watch, Mark? No doubt you will be at um, Musgrave Hill next week. We'll catch up. Pitsy's called Matt Norrie. Matt Norrie. Called Matt round for cover. With that last bowl of Jays playing with a bit of weight, so he's called for to get him the best back which he's done. Can't see his bowl out there. Jay's backed off a little bit here and looking to make contact with something which he yeah, has, but not enough. Not enough there, no. Yeah, it's okay. It's the wrong uh, black and, and yellow bowl that he hit. It's you again calling Matt round to the back. Mm. 
Oh, he's uh, pulled up in the pack. Tristo Thompson, good afternoon to you too. Uh, Josh, I just went and watched today our Division 1 team got through. Ah, oh, so big weekend next weekend. Yeah, it certainly will be, Joshy. You see Des can, so um, I'm going to be wrapping up soon. So we'll yeah, send a big shout out to Lawn Bowls to you at Manly Bowls Club. Get in, trade it in. Yeah, thank you, Jess. Uh, yep, yeah, Lord Bowls. Info at lordbowls2u.com.au. Uh, one more week of their sponsorship for the uh, the finals. Um, and we thank you very much for your major sponsorship, along with uh, BCIB Insurance Brokers, uh, for uh, the Premier League 2024. Also, a shout out to Paradise Point Bowls Club, uh, who hosted the bowls show down there, and Smith & Co. were the sponsors of the bowls show. And Club Musgrave, who are hosting the weekend next weekend, uh, the finals, 23rd and 24th. Thank you very, very much for your uh, support of our great game. We go back. Des just pulled up short with his first yeah. bowl. Uh, a draw, looked like a draw attempt. So here's his second bowl. A little bit more intention about it. Looks like it's just going to duck. Oh, and he's going to wriggle in. Oh, nope. He's going to wriggle in for second shot, and they got one, and they're going to take it. So yeah, we it's might. Uh, we might start. It's going to be very hard to get that end up there, uh, the head up there. So we might. Uh, uh, who else do we have to put on? We've done the sponsors there. Um, yeah, we'll do a uh, we'll do a close. So uh, Pauline, thank you very much for coming and keeping me company. No worries. Oh, Thanks yeah. for having me. It's very, very hard to do. I've done it once before during a state championship by myself, and it makes a long day. <laughs> even, even I started to stop laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> so, so yeah, you know how pleasure. long it is. Yeah. So look, thanks very much for uh, for jumping in. It's been great, and yeah, uh, gives me a chance to give a shout out to our team and yeah, our sponsors, yeah. and hopefully entertain some people watching the game. Yep. There we are. I'll give you a wave. And uh, that's us hiding there, and uh, we've just got to pull in a f uh, bit of gears and, uh, and pack them in the truck, have a quick beer, and then back over to Brown's Plain to uh, see what the wife bought me while she was out shopping. Mm. Sounds good. Good luck to everyone for next weekend. Yes, thank you very much, Pauline. And, uh, yeah, and congratulations uh, to Al Jester. They've, uh, they've retained uh, fifth spot, which is great for them. Um, so they'll be into next week's final over there at uh, Paradise Point and uh, see how far they can advance now and uh, good luck to them. Uh, Joshy, no, I won't sing a tune, mate. Uh, Channel 14's been turned off. And <laughs> <laughs> that's a karaoke. Channel. Oh, right, OK, fair enough. He keeps getting me to, wanting me to sing Elvis songs. Oh, fair but enough. But look, thanks very much. And as I said at the beginning or, you know, probably an hour into it, um, I may be on uh, as, a, as a guest every so often, uh, depending where the, the game's being played. But this is my last broadcast as a, as a mainstream commentator uh, due to a number of reasons, um, uh, one of which is um, I, I'm not going to be part of the district anymore. I'm stepping down from the, the board of the district. Um, so... Um, well, good uh, luck to you, Bruce. Yeah, With all that yeah. spare time you're going to have. Oh, yeah, but I can't play bowls. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Why play bowls? What a good idea. Yeah, go and have a game of bowls. <laughs> but uh, most important on a Saturday morning will be the grandsons, um, both the grandsons' rugby. Get out and watch them. I, I, I missed watching them last year. Uh, so it would be good to get out there. Fantastic. So, uh, good luck yeah, with that. Thanks for that. And, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much I, uh, for your indulgence over the last couple of years uh, with uh, all the par jokes. Or the dad jokes and uh, and and the banter between uh, Brian and myself. And uh, look, enjoy your bowls, support your club, and uh, for the last time, I'll say bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.